All right, good Wednesday evening, and welcome to another broadcast of the American Ritchie Mahjong League. Nathaniel here for our final regularly scheduled Wednesday broadcast. We've got some exciting matchups coming up. This upcoming A, uh, rather B1 match to start is going to be a really crucial one for a couple players here. Barry, of course, has been at the top of the standings for the entirety of the season. But Al, slightly in the negatives currently, hoping to move to the positives, have a chance at a bonus promo slot. Ryan, uh, attempting to avoid relegation zone, currently pretty safe, uh, has two games to play as well. Pio dipped down a little bit this series into that relegation zone, but has a chance to escape, especially with Greg also having two games to play. So a lot at stake here in this B1 match, and of course, lots of other games scheduled for this evening, a very busy night tonight. Uh, going on at the same time will also be the final two A1 games of the season, although there's a lot less at stake in uh, in those games, as the championship uh, champion for the season is all but confirmed. As as I expect these two games to be quite exciting, and Barry will be starting off in the dealer seat, just coasting in this final <laughs> portion of the season. Ryan to the right. Aldwin across the table, and PLNR left, is left to start us off. Barry opens up with Hatsupair, Dora in hand as well. Reasonable uh, shapes here. Oh, has all the odds in the Sozu. A little bit uncomfortable there, but in theory can open up and uh, call away some of these bad shapes. Of course, it's a nice fill, although it does make the door a little bit hard to use. We'll just hold the Ishantan. Nice. Kanchan fill on the right for Ryan picks up that 8 mon. Currently 2 away from Tempai with okay shapes. Nice loading 5. So, and hey, door for Barry. Interesting choice here now. Goes with a 2 mon, 2 mon since I have too many pairs. I like this Kanchan over the Shabo. Of course, if he draws something like the 3 mon, he can shift back into a Monzu Diamond. Oh, and just draws the 8. So, into Tempai, who needs to look at the other hands when you have this. Amazing start. Richie and two Dora will also have Hatsu or a third Dora, so it's going to be a Mungan minimum. Wait, is at least the Hatsu is live in the wall. Three tiles in total as P is holding one of the Dora. I haven't had a chance to look at these other hands, but it looks like Al with an opportunity to fight could have taken Tempai with two five so for Richie Nomi, but says if I'm going to fight this, I want to fight with a little bit more value. And there is some incentive for Al to fight, of course. He wants to be positive. If you're positive, you have a chance to promote. But facing a dealer Ricci head-on is definitely a bit of a challenge. So he's going to try to mamashi around this as best he can. Now finds Tempai again. This is Pinfu as well. And the five mon have come out a bunch. So the four mon's relatively safe. He might be able to take this fight. Just slam the Ricci on the two five. So. But. Just in time for Barry to find the Tsumo to reach stick donation. Reach it, Tsumo Dora. Three, no Uda. But that will be a 12,000 point Mongan for Barry to open up this game. That puts a lot of pressure on the rest of the table here who cannot afford to take negative points. And now everyone's starting below 30,000 except for Barry, who doesn't need the points. Home. Looks like Barry with a relatively tame opener here. It's I'm seeing speed around the rest of the table, though, as Ryan has a pair of Hatsu on the right. Can open up for a, a fast and cheap hand. Also, could reach Inomi as well. On the left, Pio has already opened up for the pay for 1,000 points. And across the table, Al has a pair of the Dora Haku which could give his hands some flexibility and value at the same time. Home. Whether or not someone is so eager to drop the, the Haku will well, it's yet to be determined. We do see the Hatsuko on the right. He shunned then for Ryan. With a chance at Chanta as well, actually. You can find another 1-pin and 9-pin. Oh, big draw for Al. Now he shunned then. Tuso cut preserves the opportunity Home. to call the Haku into Tempai, and he will move that direction. Barry opening up as well for what appears to be a Chinitsu. Chi. And Ryan's not going to mess around here, just 
grabs the Tempai. Not gonna wait for the uh, potential Tanta for an extra thousand points here. That makes sense. A lot less utility going from 1,000 points to 2,000 points. Especially when the Dorahaku is yet to be seen. That's a that's a good draw for Pio because now he is has the ability to not only pull in five so or eight so, but also switch that contra in the Sozu from a five seven shape to a seven eight eight uh, diamond. Sumo. Barry was one step closer to Tempai, but Ryan will find the cheap Sumo and move us forward. Right, Ryan's opener. Looks like it wants to be a Richie Pinfu. Ooh, nice three mon draw. Gives him some additional flexibility in the hand. L pressing forward with what wants to be a Richie and is hoping to draw Dora. Uh, if he gets the chance to call the East, there is a chance he passes it up. Al is a believer in trusting the draws. But if his hand is close enough, he might just choose to take it anyway. Across the table, peel an another Yakuhai pair. This time in the form of the Chun. Oh, and just pulls the third red dragon, so no need to open up anymore. And I wonder if Pio will call his hand down to press for it again, or treat this as an opportunity to get some big value. Richie, Chun, uh, something like Tsumor Uda could be a mung gun for, for Pio. He's going to have to contend with Barry's hand, which is looking to be progressing quite quickly. Nice floating tiles towards a pink hoop, perhaps. And a door in hand. Locked away in a 6 7 8, just as our dealer has has done as well. Now Ryan spots the chance at Itsu, perhaps, but I think maybe I prefer just holding the, the slightly better. Oh, I guess the 9 mod is twice cut, so you, and the 2 mod is cut as well, so you're only accepting. One additional two mon. Yeah, this this two mon discard is just fine. This is a closer decision, but he'll stick with the plan that he previously laid out. And the only way we shift to Itsu is if we draw exactly the seven mon. And even then, we're not too thrilled about being headless when we could be Tempai. Notably, Al has also drawn a triplet of his... Uh, East and Factual Slava Ricci. Ricci Ton waiting on 5 so 6 so. It is a multi sided weight, although there are two very central tiles. And RC 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 out, so 2 in the wall. None visible, of course, to Alex except for the 1 6 so in his hand. Ryan can at least shift down, but he might not want to cut this 8 so. Yeah, I'll start with the 9 mod. Oh, and then the 8 mod revealed to be safe. At this point, Gee. Ryan's probably considering the possible of cutting 6 pin, 7 pin, and saving the so shape around this door of. Pio opening up as well into Tempai, winning 3 6 so. And gets one additional 3 so, but all the 6 so are being held, so. 1 versus 2 still. Actually. I, I missed a tile, so one versus one. One five so versus one three so. Ryan somehow shifting his hand towards Tanya. And Barry maintaining a Chitoi Shanten, although I don't think he wants to drop any of these central so tiles. Pio draws a nine so and gives it up, says this tile near door is too risky. And the door comes out itself. That doesn't mean the tiles around it are safe. That came out post Ricci. In the meantime, Pio has drawn the last five so. So that means Al is drawing dead at this point. Uh, fortunately, doesn't have anyone to fight. So it looks like we're heading towards a Dukyoku. Picking up 2,000 points is totally acceptable. And uh, it moves over to Al's dealership. One stick, 
one homba to be collected in this round. And Al opens up with pair of east, double tone potential, and a door drawn as well. So we're looking at 50, uh, 5,800 with additional 1,300 to collect in the middle if you can open up his hand here. In fact, if the two pin came out, I think I would be willing to call that just because it locks in the door shape. We have to look to the other hands across the table. Uh, P.O. has a door, but that's a little bit tricky to use with the four pin already held in hand. I would love to pair that up instead. Across Home. the table, that is a lot of uh, sozu for Barry. We'll call put on the one zone. This isn't necessarily a commit to some type of honitsu, as toy toy is another option. So this is a pretty flexible pun. Um, it's it's always nice when you have a call. Uh, when you make a call, you have a couple different options that you can branch off to. Oh, speaking of options, there came the Dora, and Al had drawn a pair. Now, because he's expecting to call the double tone. Uh, having two door versus three door doesn't make that big of a difference. It's still a mongun either way. So he chooses to let this one go and not reveal that he has this, this type of value. But if this was a non-dealer and East was only worth one hun, you might consider calling that for the mongun, even if it does reveal your plans a bit. Here's that East. Barry might hold it a little bit. It goes to the eight zone instead. It looks like he is leaning towards pulling in a Yakuhai or calling for Toy Toy. I wonder about Al holding these pin tiles. It looks like he doesn't trust the penchon in the upper so Home. and wants to upgrade to something else, but now his hand is forced. Gee. Opening up with a double tone. Still giving himself the flexibility around this upper pin shape, but really just wants to find a 7 so. Finally getting to Ryan's hand on the left, turns into an Ishan then with this 5-pin draw. I guess it was the 4, but this is slightly wider. Home. Second call by Pio into Tanya Tempai waiting on the 7 so that are all in the wall. So Al and Pio both desperate need of one. Home. Barry opens up again. Ishan then for Toy Toy, holding all of the 2 so. Where are the seven so? Uh, six not terribly helpful. Very not willing to con either. Not willing to discard this Dora either. We'll probably be door talking in the end. Gee. Oh, temp I found, and the save tile for Al is no longer safe. It comes Boom. out. Swaps to a safer tile, and it will deal into 1600. Uh, the sticks collected by Ryan for this hand, and moves over to Pio's dealership. In the end, not right. a single seven so drawn. Hey there, Nathaniel. Hey, Korak. Some... I mean, I'd love to be able to see the hands, but I can't. Well, let, let's make that a possibility, then. Some, uh, some stuff at stake here in this B1 matchup. Yeah, so you see in the standing here, basically we have Aldwin and Ryan trying to get positive. If there are extra promotions, it's not going to take much to jump past Gauhan. But remember, you have to be at plus minus zero to even be eligible here. Eat. Right, and well, Ryan's making his move here with an early Richie. Richie uh, Nomi waiting on the three mon. Home. And I don't hate this Richie. I don't like it just because there are so many upgrades here with the Peiko, Sanshoku. But you do have the Suji crap set up. The other thing is you have that one pole, though. So you figure the three is probably not particularly useful to anyone else. But that would have been your Peiko upgrade. Then I definitely would have just slammed this one. Yeah, actually, just counting the number of upgrades, you have, you know, the three pin, the six pin for Ipeko, the two pin for Sanchoku, the one Gee. so for Dora, the five mon for Jiam and Pinghu. They're actually or even up. just pairing up the two four for a Shampoo, I think, is an upgrade. Yeah, exactly. The, 
the number of upgrades here was was significantly more than the number of winning tiles, which a lot of times Don't leads, but leads it to... win. Suji's good <laughs> enough here. That's going to be deal in by Pio. No real punish, though. We'll be 1,300. Yeah, and that puts Ryan above 30k. Of course, this game started with a, a Barry dealer Mongon Sumo and put everyone in the hole. But uh, Ryan has managed to overcome that early deficit. But from the looks of the standings, Barry's been doing it to a lot of people. Yeah, all season has been at the top since game one. All right, Barry's dealer here can accept Dora, probably just a Tanya hand, maybe some Pinfu on the right. Pretty standard Pinfu hand. And that just even much more confirms it. It's going to hard, be hard to use Dora. It's going to be hard to get any sort of value out of this hand, though. Across the way, we see the South is called by Q. He is now looking for one more block. You see the 2 3 4, the 6 8, and the 3 3, but a bunch of floaters here. And on the left, you have a Dora. Probably just reach you, Dora. You'd love to upgrade to the Itsu, but it's a distance away. Well, that's going to help Q out there. Can now call the tune for an extra Han. Yeah, door draw would be nice as well. Ooh, that's an interesting draw. Do you get super greedy? You cut the eight, cuts the three, so not a cultist, apparently. <laughs> Absolutely not. A toy toy a little bit far away. Yeah, I don't really think toy toy, but I wonder about like eight mon. Right, that was my thought as well, because you still give the uh, you still get the, the door acceptance. The door acceptance is what you want. If you draw the seven, you're not that thrilled. Well, you take ten by, of course. Looks like Ryan is close to be able to take the ten by. Technically, Ishan ten, although the shape's a bit weak right now, he really wants to shift this to a, a Tanya if possible. That's Ishantan now on the left for Pio. And Barry's just going to open here. The two mon is a really uh, a draw that that does help move in the direction of Tanya. So now lots of calls available to Ryan. Home. Tempai and Totsu 2 5, although the 2 is dead. So it's the 5 mon 4 so effective jump on. Yeah, it's like a pwn, but with two extra tiles. So you get all four of the five pins to win on. Or five mon, I should say. Nice upgrade there for Pio. I think you just cut nine pin here for Barry. Yep, there it goes. Oh, no, cuts the two. I thought it was the nine. It was in that area. It was he a con? And now we have Tempai across the way and a bunch of value. Anka, it's a ton of foo here. That's, I believe, 6,400. Yeah, reels a, do a new door for himself, although the 7 mod as the indicator is not what he wanted One to see. One left. Home. Uh, he wants a win on that, not see that as the indicator. Simo. Oh, there's a Simo for Ryan. Just draw Dora, easy game. Tanya, Dora 2, that's a nice little boost. Yeah, also a uh, benefactor of the con. Just find one additional door as a result. All right, well, Ryan has a decent hand here with a 5-6, where 6 is Dora. Shapes are okay. They're not fantastic, but they're, they're this is definitely above average hand. Richie, Pinfu, Tanya. Well, they have three pairs. You're less thrilled about that. But it feels like at least a Tanya plus one. On the right, great shapes. Possibly Peiko can, already has the 6 connected to a 4. They're even Sanshiku with a 4-5-6, potentially. Lots of routes to value. You kind of want to turn into Tanya oh. with that one mon pair probably going to happen. Across the way, Pinfu hand, maybe a 7-8-9 Sanshiku developing. And on the left, just calls the tune, probably trying to shut this down, hand down quickly, has Ishan ten needing two mon and seven so. Yeah, and as pretty as Al's hand looks, it really, really wants the five mon. And unfortunately, there's only one of those left in the wall. That's always the problem with a door indicator, is it's often much more desired than even the Dora. Home. But having drawn an additional... Oh, we'll stick with that thought. There's Tempa on the left. On two mon, three left. Oh, that seven, seven mon is a big pull in for Al, who now can win on the eight mon instead, and is each on ten. Oh, just draws Easy. the five, okay. <laughs> mm, Easy game. Richie, Pinfu, Dora, one, waiting on... 5-8 pin. Of course, we see three of them out, 
and two in hand, so three in the wall. Oh, and that's gonna make Ryan want to push this hand. Yeah, but it's, I mean, it's, it's kind of hard to fold. Do you have this form? But beyond that... That's definitely a shove. Okay, he can drop the west. He has the seven pin again if he wants it in the form on. Meanwhile, Barry doesn't want anything to do with this hand. Yeah, I wouldn't put it past Barry to mohash his way back into a tempi, though. Oh, we see the Dora being cut there, and I'm even playing for the Chi toy. Trust the Nakasuji, and it's fine. And Barry back into Tempai. Tempai on the left sees the three is Gimbutsu, and now waiting on four seven imagine for seven Chunomi. Pin. Yeah, I imagine the seven pin comes out. Ryan cleared that before. Oh, does Barry not trust the six? No, he'll push it. It is in the danger zone, but it's not the tile. I might Chi this one, honestly. If you don't cheat this, I don't think this hand ever finishes. But you've already cut the six, so right. I don't think the plan is to win the hand. Definitely feels inconsistent with the previous uh, six mon cut. Right. Probably hedging toward Chi Toy, but even more. If you're doing that, I definitely like keeping that six mon. Still waiting for that 5 8. Again, three in pawns and three in hands now. Pum. Oh, a pum. Maybe Ryan reconsidering. And, and Barry has to reconsider as well. Does not like this three, so. Ooh. Well, if you make the play, you should be calling this. If you make that two pawn rather than take your two save tiles, you should definitely be pushing here. Yeah, what will come out two? Okay, two instead of the five mod. Going to be very hard to get a winning hand, but probably just playing for temp by hoping that four so comes out. And oh, very temp no. I will deal in. And the aura, that's a big hit. That's going to boost Q all the way back over 30,000 into second place. We'll be dealer here in South 3. Yeah, all of a sudden the race for first is on. Going from three Han to four, always a huge help. Has a pretty good hand here, not much value, but definitely looking for a Richie Pin Fu. And the hand's almost there. On the right, similarly, it's, it's probably going to be a Richie Pin Fu. Across the way, a lot of like good hands, but they're all cheap. I'm not seeing any value whatsoever. Uh, the hand on the left is probably the worst, and. Even that, the shapes aren't terrible. You just need three so and eight so. Well, Al's found the headless Ishan then. Very strong position to be in to find a Tempai, whether or not it's a good one. And the West being Dora well, does make it harder for hands to find value. And your dealer. You can take the random Taki if you feel you need it, but usually you're going to fish for something better. All right, Ishan then for PO this time with potentially Peiko. In addition to Pinfu. I mean, you could use that as a pair, but it's really bad. I, I like throwing the five back. And that is Richie, Pinfu. Is there any Peiko in there? Yeah, possibly Peiko. The one so is the pair. It's a two, three, three, four, four shape. So just Richie, Pinfu, possibly Peiko. Yeah, with this being a, a Richie from fourth place, Al reconsidering fighting here. In fact, just Gembutsu Gembutsu might be back. Yeah, out. well, the problem is going to be if there's a sumo, it's going to knock you under 30k. I guess you could sumo the cheap end with no aura, and that'd be okay. Oh, hello, Dora. Goodbye, Dora. Well, Dora's safe here. Makes perfect sense. I wonder if Ryan will challenge now with this huge Fudi 10 weight. Eat. That is Tempai. It's, what, five-sided? Yeah, I would. I think course... he just realized it's for a 10. <laughs> that, that's what that pause suggests. I mean, it's a pretty classic challenge with a five-sided weight. Uh, oh, well, this may be the four. Won't deal. Nope, just going to fold it out. Bear's hand lighting up now. 
does not Through like the this three last turn. Yeah, I think mean, the two isn't bad here. It's a two, one chance, three, and you have all those ones. Three threes, two twos. Maybe the one mod actually passes, and if it can, this is tempi if you cheat cut one, and then if you don't like to draw afterwards, you can cut the other Gee. ones. Yeah, he'll play for it. Oh, uh, well, I think you keep cutting the ones. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, that one doesn't feel great. And the six is safe, so you can throw that later if need be. That is not Tempi, I believe. Kind of amazing that Ryan, neither Ryan nor Peel have won this hand. Oh, you can she cut six, so. <laughs> Just like that. That's going to play here. Q drops under 30k, though. Keo closing the gap significantly here. Will be dealer in all last. Yeah, that, that's a, a really interesting point you bring Home. up for people who are, who are fans of folding. That was a worse outcome for Al than Among Un... It's almost as bad as Among Un Sumo. And, and from a... Home. You know, points exchange Home. perspective, he basically um, lost net 4,000 to everybody. Yeah, but now there's 2300 in the middle. You're just going to call anything. Has a door as well. Dealer with not a bad hand, but just not as good as the others. Because you see callable Yakuha is on two sides here. Now Dealer's hand is very good. We're looking for Richie Sanchuku, probably. For PO, on the right we see the double south has been called. Can't accept a Dora. Possibly even Chanta there. Across the way. Similarly, might be Chanta. Might be just Cheetoy. Now it's just Cheetoy. It's either Chi Toy or Toy Toy. Mm. You're just Ishantin for Chi Toy. Oh, oh, I hate the nine so cut. I mean, I'm surprised by it because I, I, I always perceive Ryan as a, a fan of Chi Toy. Or at least not. not... You, well, if you're looking for Meme Yaku, then you draw the nine next turn. Like, I gave up Doko. At least not but, as no, that's to very inefficient. Sometimes, I mean, I'm a cheat toy hater as much as they get, but I think it was there. Does manage to improve the hand a bit, though. Could go Itsu. The problem is all these pairs left anyway. And we haven't seen any real improvement Gee. from Q. And on the right, Barry is still headless with a bit of a mess as well. Oh. Al might be close to dropping the 3-so, but Pio just pulls it in Tempai himself. Tempai will Gee. Dama the Sanshoku. I don't understand the point of this Dama. I mean, sure, there's 2,300 in the middle, but so? And, of course, Ryan is almost certainly looking for this last West to call. Al looking for a 7-pin. The funny thing is, if Ryan gets the West, then he'll drop the seven. Oh, there's the West and the Ricci. You Home. can pawn cut seven pin. That's going to be the play here. That's going to get Q tempo. You have to chase this. Is it going to be cowardly or is it going to be brave? Takes the coward way out. We'll wait on one mon three so rather than the one four so wait. This was the safer decision, right. but the win rate is much worse. Well, you know me. I'm a fan of, of the cowardly option, so. Uh, the other side was Fudy 10 as well, so it makes a lot of sense. Oh, that would make a lot more sense. Then. Yeah, <laughs> if you have the four so in there, uh, then that's definitely the right one. Yeah, we'll see how, how much Ryan chooses to fight here. Like well, the there's your six. Yeah, he's just getting out of here. I think you have to shove the six, though. Yeah, I mean, Especially with where Q is in the standings, he needs a positive result here. Three Mon becomes Suji. Danger for Ryan. In the meantime, Barry holding the seven so. Tonky Down by way. across the way on three six so. And does just shove. Oh. And there's the six oh. and deals in across the way. That's going to be first place, of course, with that three Dora. That's going to really hurt Pio. Mm. Ryan here with a huge hand to end the game. Wow. Of course, all those sticks in the middle. And that's going to be a plus 31, which Ryan now is also fighting to get above 
zero and potentially put himself in a promotion spot. He'll jump all the way up to ninth, I believe, yes. with that one. Barry, 7.2, continues the Rentai run here, 10, 8, 10, 7, 3, 3 now. I mean, that's, that's a heck of a season. Uh, Q there in third place with a minus 6.1 is kind of dropping him. Probably needs a first here to get into the positive spot. Not really in any danger of demotion. Mm -hmm. That's one of the big reasons I would have shoved a lot of those. And finally, we, of course, have uh, P.O. taking the last there. And he's he needs help. He needs either a monster win and Greg to basically do nothing or a small win and Greg to absolutely tank. And look, Pio is no stranger to monster wins. I believe he had a plus 95 earlier in the season to, you know, give himself a chance at escaping the relegation zone. Um, yeah, we'll need another one of those, it looks like. But, uh, you know, statistically speaking, probably better to, to rely on picking up as much as you can, you know, maybe a plus 30 or a thir plus 40 first place, and then hope that, that Greg falters a little bit. All you can do is you set, set yourself in position for what else what else happens afterwards. Right. Whether that be if you're on that plus minus zero line, you got to get over zero. Whether you're facing that demotion, you got to at least get out of there as much as possible and hope that the people you're fighting with end up not hitting their their own games. But we have a dealer Ishantin here, very wide Ishantin, I believe. Incredibly wide. You're really sad if you draw like two so. Oh yeah, yeah. That that would be the probably the worst tempi. Seven pit, seven mon is worse. Because that's right by Dora too. Yeah. Seven so as well is it's very ugly. Yeah, that's <laughs> okay, okay. So we've we found a few bad tempi. We, we found oh, a no! oh, this is your fault. Oh, this yeah, is you... hundred percent your fault. <laughs> he takes the tempi? I would reject this. I don't hate this. I think I'm. What do you think of, say, four so here? Uh, we lose the three, but you know, we had like uh, Sonako, Sonako and Ikeko. Ikeko. Yeah, there are a lot. I really like four so up there. Yeah, I'm, I'm not I'm not the biggest believer in Sonako, so I don't mind just throwing the seven back and and giving myself the, the extra acceptance. But I, I, holding the, the seven is definitely the value play. But I really don't want to give up on all of these Mon draws into Tempai. I mean, especially imagine drawing a second Dora. And Another Dora? Out. Yeah, that'd be mm -hmm. great here. No, uh, we could just continue to draw nothing like, like Al has been doing for the past dis few discards, but at some point he's going to ha have to make a move, whether it be Richie to try to scare the table off or find something useful. Doesn't matter. you got to get Tempai before you can Richie, and is kind of stuck here in Ishant and Hell. Well, I mean, it is technically Tempai. It's just this brutal Shabo. No Yaku. And if you sumo, I guess you take it. Just you don't have any real upgrades. Right. Actually, no, I might take the four so for Itenrichi if you draw the seven so. Mm. I would. What is, is that five sided then? Yeah, yeah, it's the Tatsumaki. Of course. Al's probably, you know, would have to be counting how many tiles are out. A couple four right. so's. There's a six, a, six. And a couple eights. So. so it's not great. I mean, this late, I would probably just take the now it, Yeah, now it's so late, you might even just call down the tempo. I forget winning. Okay, we're going to see a Richie from Pio, who, again, Richie, desperately Richie, Pinfu, points. possible Ipeko. Of course, we know Ipeko won't happen unless Q deals it. And if he gets a gem and wait, Tempai, if the if this is thrown, would have to throw the three, so it looked awful against that hand. Boom. But it's a non-dealer. Richie said, "We'll try it," and there it goes. Do I draw? Not exactly what Ryan was looking for here. Nah, I figured the nine would come out. One's safe enough. <laughs> oh, funnily enough. Pew temp, holding... Is that no? By breaking, didn't want to throw the doors. So that won't actually be a tempi shape hmm. now. That is tempi if you deal in. Could throw the six so half suji. No, so not we'll gonna try it. Out. Yeah, Pew was holding all of Al's winning tiles there. Uh, 
All right, Barry is dealer here has a great starting hand. Not much value, but I mean, those, those are shapes. On the right, Come. a few pairs, maybe a ton. Oh, there's a con. <laughs> and I mean, you have to keep the floating seven if you get Dora, right? And upgrade there on the right for Pio. Uh, across the way, oh. though, that's the fun hand. Mm. Are we going to see the Honitsu? I mean, you have to, don't you? Right. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Itsu, uh, Itsu, Hatsu, Honitsu, Dora. And on the left, uh, maybe Chitoy, but it's so sad compared to the rest of these hands. You know, Al looks at that and says, uh, Eat. Then, question mark. Well, there's Tempai. Barry will be waiting six, nine pin. It is Richi Nomi, but there are two Dora indicators. So, meaning a win will have two. Boom. Ryan just Dora. yeets out the original Dora. On Ipatsu turn. Doesn't believe Barry has it. I mean, he's just pushing. He says, I have enough value. I don't care. Yeah, and Pio says, well, great, I'll take that. I'll make my hand among gun. And we're going to see some yeah. some action here. Eight, eight just passed, I believe. Yeah, there it is. Oh, another one of the winning tiles. Pio, Pio. building toward Tempi, looking pretty good. Uh, Barry only has three tiles left now. That Tempai, is... waiting on one so tonky. I imagine this is going to be the five push. Yep, there it goes. He shunt then for Ryan. And if Ryan gets the eight. Oh, which shape do you want? This five is safe, so we'll cut that and prove this to a one four. And this may be a chi deal in. Right? Chi. She's the safe way. And throws the Dora, maybe? Ooh. He's reconsidering. It is Suji, but he threw one Dora. Yeah. No, not throwing that one. Okay, but the Chi also uh, put the knife. He doesn't in... draw that nine, right? So we'll be able to fight a little bit more. And he should just be the other hot two now. There it goes. The dance has been incredible. Ooh, could take the three sided weight if you want to cut the one so into this. And if that happens, Ryan will pull it in and take Tempi. Are we going to see a con? Nope. He plays out the Suji seven pin instead. Sumo. Gets that sumo. Sumo. East double three. Pio with a big start. Over forty thousand, and Pio has a lot of work to do. So it's a great result there. We'll have the double East here. Can accept another Dora potentially. Pretty good hand on the right. Whole bunch of so tiles. Shapes are okay. But you're kind of looking for any excuse to go Chinitsu. It may just be Chi Toy with how many pairs it has, though. Chi Toy Tanya. Across the way, Pinfu Taipan, maybe a 678 Sanjiku. And on the left, Home. looks like a Pinfu. Maybe Itsu upgrades, but looks unlikely. Little tone call made for Pio. Now, Pio also has a Dora and needs these seven so badly. Although, of course, you'd prefer just pairing up the door and not having to worry about this six, so. I mean, at this point, pairing up the door is more statistically likely than finding it uh, when the seven sets that are all, have all been drawn. It looks like Nice Barry... upgrade there for Q. Ishanten for Pio. Yeah, Barry probably with the best. And now we have the question. Fight. Is Ryan going Chinitsu? He wants to. You can tell he wants to. Chi. Ooh, three, four, five. Yeah, he's just going for it. I think I like the one, two, three more. It should has to be a pawn. You have to pawn this. If you make that oh. last cheat, you have to pawn that one. Gonna hedge maybe a bit towards Tanyao here by throwing the Hatsu. You don't have to win Chinitsu with this, but you're just sad if that's what happens. If you end it with Tanya, well, that's the perfect draw because you use your one. This should be 8-8. Eight, eight. Yeah, this is where the value is. In, in the meantime, Barry rejects Problem is those three, so rewarded. we're being collected Eat. by Q now. And we have Tempai on the Gee. left. That is Richie Nomi, I believe. No, oh. Richie Pinfu with is each a 4-7. Oh, yeah, because you have the three paired. Yeah, so that is a Richie Pinfu possible Itsu. You are correct. And that was on the off the back of declining a, a tempi earlier on just Kanchan Tumon. So very spotting the, the route for a better value and rewarded.
this week. Not incredibly live, but the the Takame is in the wall. There's one four pin, one seven pin. And Al now we might see Ryan cut the one two here and go for that Tanya, but it would be four e ten, so he doesn't want to. Now it looks like he's trying to make a play for this as well, playing out the Suji two pin. Sumo. Does sumo. It is the key pin, though. Read the sumo pin. Boom. No or up, but we'll get Barry back close to 30,000. And that's a. Uh, unfortunate for PO, he loses his first dealership. Of course, dealership, uh, one of your main chances to, to run up the score a bit. Well, PO has a Yakuai pair and a Dora, so I imagine that's the way he's going to go with that. Ryan, though, is our dealer here. He has two Dora looking to call the third and go. And the rest of the hand isn't great, but you don't need a great hand if you have Dora 2 and a Yak Callable Yakuhai. On the right, Pinfu type hand, maybe some 1, 2, 3 Sanjuku shifts later. Across the way, just a Tanya, maybe a 2, 3, 4, or 3, 4, 5 Sanjuku. And on the left, as mentioned, East Pair and a Hatsu, but I imagine that Hatsu is going to get taken up by Ryan here. The question is, when does it come out from Barry? Barry may just squeeze it, but now the hand's good enough for getting rid of it. It's easy pulling there for Ryan. Should just be six, so, yeah. And now table on full alert. It's like, oh, dealer has door three. Ooh, Ishan 10. I think you can cut seven pin here. There's one less of them out, but you figure the nine's much more likely to come out than the seven. We'll cut the one three. Likes the ability except the eight, but I don't think the eight's that good because that means even if you do draw out, there are only two left. Oh, well. Oh, well, now you have to cut 7-7. Seven, seven. Okay, that's fine. Okay. No, cuts the 9 because there is a 9 out. Right. But I figure the 7 he used here by oh, no. someone. Oh, no. <laughs> so Barry, well, Barry holds eventually. it for now. Barry's like, I like the safe tile. Thanks. Right. And it may not make a difference because the tune may come out from P.O. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's a big so that draw for Al. It was. It is, doesn't take it. It would have been reaching only bad weight. Yeah, against a dealer who has door, door three and a Yakai. Oh. Well, there's Tempai, 2-5, Mon. You just cut your nine pin here. That's also Tempai, bad weight. Wow, Al got that two out just in time. Will he get rewarded with a sumo to shut this down? Home. I'm worried if he draws six, Mon. Oh, absolutely. Because just positionally speaking, he has all incentive to the world to fight. Dama across the way. Tanya, possible son Anko. Oh, my goodness. There's the nine. That's not going to deal in. No, nope, there is no Yaku. And that'll give Al a way to dance around. He can cut nine, nine. Sumo. That's going to be. Oh, there's our son Anko. Tanya, son Anko. Sumo, Mungan. And Barry's going to close this gap. I believe he'll be 100 points down from first now. And Q and Ryan, who have both been trying to play for a chance to get back into the positives here and Home. make themselves at least eligible for a promotion spot, are kind of sinking. Yeah, well, this is Al's big chance. Double Yakuhai and potential Toy Toy even. Well, it's definitely an upgrade there with that one, so can now just call the south, and then you just wait Tempai and you make your decision later. Ooh, Could I, would even, I might even con that, yeah. Well, you're Tempai now, but you're not thrilled with this result. I mean, you'll take it, but you're not happy with it. On the right, Pinfu hand, maybe an Itsu, a Tudora, though, so you want to go Tanya, the draws just aren't there. Across the way, Pinfu, Tudor, or Sanchu looking okay if he can maneuver that pin shape to 245. And on the left, I mean, it wants to be Cheetoy, but it's just not. I think that's just to call the Hatsu down and go with it. All right, if you're out in this situation, you draw three pin. Oh, forget that thought. You just no. take the row and your dealer. <laughs> yeah, I was wondering if you would break Tempai to move towards Toy Toy, but didn't have to yeah, take I mean, too much more. South we're in South Run now, so it is two Han. So they get to 3,900 point win, so definitely helpful. Has it East here. East pair can call the Yakuai, but the rest of the shapes are a bit of a mess. 
Anytime you have the one, two with the three being the door indicator, that is my least favorite shape in all oh. of the job. Yeah, it looks like Barry as well with the same shape. Yeah, on the right, Barry does have the same situation. The rest of the hand is a mess. Oh. I don't hate that hand as much because I just say it's Jude Chan. Across oh. the way, though, we're seeing a Honitsu play here. As PO sees a lot of value here, can pair up either of those dragons and be in good position. And on the left, well, now it's just Ishan 10 for probably Tanyao Dora 2. Yeah, PO had the right idea. Just kill the shape. 1 2 Ma was the first cut. But uh, uh, interesting note here. Good call for Tempai. Is it enough? I think he might pass. You have two Dora, you oh, can't gee. pass. Yeah, with two Dora, it does make it a lot closer. He really needs to get over 30k. Has still has, you know, South 2, South 3, South 4. So right, and will it. be last dealer, of course. I think that's very 50-50. I think a, maybe a questionable call here might be Al passing up the ton. Oh, I mean, I'd immediately call that with this. That you can't afford to be giving up your last dealership. I'm kind of surprised Pio didn't cheat the 9 there either. Mm. Take a bunch of floaters. Yeah, I guess he still has acceptance of basically all those same tiles anyway, so... We're going to see a con very building towards Kansai Chi Toy. <laughs> I'm still holding this tempo. Oh, big, big fill for That's Al. a nice fill. And he just forget the East. I'm not playing any of that. And there's a Dora for Barry, so he's probably done. East Shunton across the way for Pio. That one tune left. A, a third door for Ryan. And he's contested uh, up a pair It doesn't here. fit. You just have to throw it, I think, and will do so. Uh, he could go back a step into Ishantan and say, I can... Yeah, but you're running out of threes because there just aren't enough door You have the door indicator. Yeah. Gee. Uh, well, Mugan that's Tempai. If, yeah, Q's going to take it. This is only Tanyao leading on three pin, six so. Oh. Would really like Pio to draw oh. uh, south here. Oh, and there's... Oh, geez. Well, now that's four Dora on the left. Tempai across the way on four pin. Four pin is a double road. Oh, my goodness. Things have just gotten crazy. Could have even cheated there and cut the 6 so for a wider weight there mm -hmm. for Q. Oh, and maybe Teal makes the play because the three... Oh, Teal's no. the three! Wow. He doesn't have anything else, but will be glad to get the 1800, especially look at that log and sees Ryan had four Dora. What a and wild And you figure hand. someone has to at that point. Right? All right, cue the pretty good starting end here. Also is a floating door. You're not quite sure what to do with that, but the rest of the hand's fine. I might just cut the door right here. We'll go ahead and cut from the 3-6, cutting the 3 on the right. Pinfu type hand, maybe upgrades to Chanta, but unlikely. I think it's just Pinfu. Questions, can you pair up the Dora? Across the way, bunch of pairs. Can you go Chi Toy? Not really. It feels more like a Toy Toy type hand, but that's very much a we'll see what happens. And on the left, it's just Tanyo. I think maybe Tanya and Chi Toy, but definitely Tanyo. Oh, holding on to this door, really hoping to pair it up. It would be a huge improvement to the value of this hand. Q's also kind of hedging Chi Toy. Yeah. Yeet. Oh, Barry gets there. There's first. our by on the right. That is Richie Pinfu, 2 5 so. Very held currently. Boom. I think that's an easy call. I mean, the hand's still a mess. So you could have taken the two safe tiles. There's no real value here. I guess it's not as easy now that I look at the hand. Yeah, is the stick and two homo worth fighting for here? Uh, that's also Barry, who... Is like, much more by the book. Gee. Was not usually taking the worst reaches as non-dealer. Yeah, and Barry's also in first, so if he gets, you know, even a three hunt sumo... Uh-oh. Ryan in trouble. He could try so so call it eight. Okay, he's gonna just so -call. pull out. Yeah, I wouldn't. <laughs> it's hard to fold now. 
Yeah, and it's just going to be, unless the four so comes, that would be the only thing that say this should deal in. Oh. Like you have to call and you have to deal in. Don't. No, uh, so not a really big hit, but it does that, the two extra homba. And uh, does also hurt Q quite a bit. He's lost his last dealer turn. Needs to have a first place in this match to have any chance of promotion. Boom. Uh, Barry will be dealer here. Nice little potential 1 2 3 Sanshoku developing. Also, potential Itsu and So on the right. Probably a Kinfu hand, but Boom. you'd love to accept a door. Maybe you'll 1 2 3 Sanshoku later. Across the way, West has been called. That's very clearly a call and go. Maybe a Sanshoku 789 later, but unlikely. And on the left, Hatsu's been called. Dreaming of. Show Sangen, maybe, <laughs> but I think that's just a call and go. Yeah. And of course, Al knows his condition here. He needs a first place with a 37.5. So he is a Mongon and one, one reach, uh, 100 points away from, from reaching that goal. A Shantan there. Boom. And that's Tempai waiting on six Mon. Would just be a thousand. We'll get him to 30k, but still in third. Dora drawn by Ryan does not want to throw it. Yeah, Ryan looking for a pair means he can use that. I Dora. think I'd have cut eight nine so because the seven's two out. Yeah, that's fair. And Q passes the two pin. Could have taken a Tonki here, which I would have really liked. Because then you draw the Dora, or you can just kind of pick whatever you want. In the meantime, Barry draws into Ishantan for 1, 2, 3, Sanchuku with Adora. Ishantan across the way. Now also potentially Chanta. Chanta, Dora 2, Shaw would be Mongon. Yeah, where are the one Mon? There is one left in the wall. Here even... Oh, just doesn't... I... I don't like this. And he's obviously decided he wants the one, two, three, but Come. if we draw the one, we feel so sad. How about dro drop the nine so here? You definitely <laughs> got the nine so here. Yeah. Who would expect this weight on the eight pin? This is such a well not temp by unfortunately for that hand. Oh, I think Barry's he can he can start with a Haku, but yeah, it's no, not we'll out. deal in there on the left. Just a thousand. And Barry's honestly fine with that result. Yeah. And Al, also, this is a fine outcome. He's mongone away from meeting his condition. Well, only has two hands left. There's a potential Honitsu in this hand, but Pio's dealer, and that's just Chanta. Maybe Honitsu. So, plenty of ways to build value in this hand the, through calling, but the, the shapes are just awkward otherwise. Also possible one, two, three, Sancho. But I'm definitely thinking Chanta or maybe Honitsu. On the right, nice little Pinfu, maybe even Honitsu. With two Dora, though, you just go for Tanya and don't worry about oh. it. Cross the way. It's, uh, as mentioned, maybe Honitsu, but the rest of the shapes are just, ugh. Uh, it's probably the worst hand on the table. Not that Barry's is much better. Also likely a Honitsu in the same suit, but the rest of the hand is also a mess. See. Yeah, Pio. Yeah, Pio says, we're just going to go for the one, two, three, Sanchu. It's fine. P Pio drew the north and then realized, I have nine unique tiles in a pair. Maybe Kokushi is an option. He said, no. Let's just stick with the uh, Chata. Well, where this Pio is in the standings, maybe you could justify going for the Chanta. It, it's just so, like, so going much. Going for the Kokushi, rather. So much harder to justify that when it's your dealership. That just means 48,000, right? Instead of 32. Yeah, I mean, if you get it, it's worth more. <laughs> and I think Pio taking even a small first here isn't going to help him a whole lot. But boy, a Kogushi, what a dealer Kogushi. But feels he just has to go on a run, and it's, it's feeling more likely that he'll be able to do it open with this chant of rather than going for the big monster oh. dream. Oh, another well, first. Well, there's Tempai. That's an it's easy G. It is 48 5-8, so... Gee. Yeah. Ryan must have drawn back into that 7-7 seven, seven so later. Oh, a bit of a backfire there for Q. Would have had the 3 to connect there, but oh, there's just, just no fault. Oh, there's the zoom. It doesn't matter. 
Hang it or not, Q under 30K and PO under 30K. So Barry's thrilled with that result. So this is this is tragic for Q. He lost a thousand points, which means even with a Mangan Sumo first place, he will still be 100 points below zero. Oof. And maybe it's there's a possibility with that hand, but that's not a great one. Deal here though is Ryan has a pinfu hand. Seven pin would really help this. On the right, kind of a pinfu hand, but he's looking for more. Maybe you're looking for some sort of Ipeko or even a Chanta eventually across Jeez. the way. <laughs> uh, well, that's going to be the end of this. Barry's like, I want my plus 20. Get out of here. Yeah, and Al has no reason to do nothing. To other ever than... fold. He right. should never fold. He should throw, throw anything, including Dora, if necessary. This Richie is because actually how he amazing. Should look at this, how he should look at this is another thousand was added. Exactly. And that's the thousand he needs. So if he can somehow find Mongon. Oh, yeah, absolutely past that. Oh, it's really sad when the second one comes right. out, though. Because you needed to sumo that. And yeah, it gets rid of it. And notably, if he hits it very directly from Mongon, that would have also worked. Um, because it would have Right, because that dump Barry point. under 30k would need some aura. Okay, but Ryan also, no incentive to fold here, is going to jam as well. Yep. And I, I that's Ishan e for Q. It's a big part of session six, six Mahjong that I enjoy watching players who understand their condition and play to it. Uh oh. Sumo. Doesn't matter. There's the sumo. Barry just too strong here. Pulls in the reach. Three sumo. sumo. And that's going to be a huge win there for Barry. Gets the plus 20, plus 29.7. And is, is that a record? It's because that's plus three ninety one. I know Kathy had a monster season one yeah, time it, in the past, so it was around there. It was three ninety something. I don't know if three ninety one point nine beats it. We're gonna have to look in the archives to see if this actually sets a new record for the most number of points scored in a single season. Uh, Barry, of course, has had an outstanding climb so far, and uh, this B one top. Uh, performance. Yeah, okay, so it was uh, Kathy, it was at 390.5 that season. Incredible. So I believe this is an armal record for a single season for Barry. Congrats to Barry. What an incredible run. I mean, if you go 11-7-3-3, you're doing pretty well. And the tragic side of this, you see all these people between minus 10 and minus 30. Every single one of them had a chance to promote, especially if they end up being extra spots. Uh, I believe we're pretty much guaranteed at least two just because of hiatuses. Uh, and there is a chance for a lot more, depending on what else happens. But it looks like it's going to be Amy and Edwin will likely be going up. Decent chance for Galhan, but no one else in this list is eligible other than people that auto qualify. So congratulations to Barry, Jay. Sure, he has two games left, but he's fine. Yeah. Rachel, Kayla, and Josh. Amy, of course, could also even fall down with two games left and only 46.8, but unlikely. And on the other end, it's going to come down to whether Greg drops 66, 65.6 points uh, and ties or falls below P.O. But the rest of the demotions are basically locked in here. Philip, Henry, John, and Andrew will be going down, barring expansion or enough people not filling B2 that B1 needs the people to remain here. Right. But Thank a bunch you. of interesting games overall. I feel they were a little too passive, though. Yeah, Given I what everyone was playing for, there was some aggression, but it didn't really feel like it was happening until like S3 or S4. No, I definitely feel like this table was was uh, uh, just, just play style wise tends to be a bit cautious. I know Ryan is very good defensively, and um, Al's as well usually doesn't get himself into into trouble here. Um, also, didn't really have the hands so much to play for. There are a couple a couple spots maybe that you could have shoved, but it was it would definitely be the aggressive way to play. Pio tried his best uh, with what he was given as well. And and actually had some some big hands too, pushing against Richie's. But Barry just, you know, very strong, consistent play, sucked up 
a lot of the action in those games. Hello, Raiders. We got welcome in. Navitas, of course, is in A1 and is going to secure his spot next season, end of the season at plus 70.6. But I think we should have another game coming up. Yeah, I've got, got one pulled up now. In the C1 division. Well, I can't. I can see it on my screen, but I can't see it on the stream. There it goes. And it'll take me a second to um, figure out who's playing. I do recognize some of these names, though. Yeah, so in front of us, it just looks like a Pinfu, maybe except a Dora, possible Sanjku here with the 678. Of course, you can accept a Dora if you can pull that in on the right. East pair, probably just a call and go, maybe some sort of 456 or 567 Sanjku eventually across the way. Definitely a Pinfu, looking for maybe a 345 Sanjku, but more likely just accept a Dora, already Ishan 10. Would re Ooh, that's a nice upgrade. You got the 3-5. Doesn't do so, though. I think cutting 3-5 so is much more standard here. Take Ryamagram and Ishunten. And on the left, that is a hand. You need to do a little bit of work in the Mon shape with the 4 seven, seven, nine, but the rest of the hand is amazing. Got Danny in the dealer's seat. Scott to the right. Alex across the table and Noel on our left. And I concur with your description on the hand on the left. I love that. You just need something to connect to the four, and you hope it's not a two. <laughs> so what happens? You draw a two every time. Also and, has upgraded it to an Ipeko, so it can't even domo a Thor a two if you don't like the bad shape. Notably here, Saki getting this, this five so a little bit. I almost prefer holding on to it. Uh, just yeah, I cut the nine on. Because here, the, the nine mon isn't doing anything for us in terms no, of No, it's tile a safe seconds. tile, but it's right. not even safe against dealer here. So we see if dealer ends up temp by that nine mod's really bad. And now's a good opportunity to, to switch it out for the West. Kong. Computer East cons. Ooh. Oh. Gets a Dora from it. Oh, it throws it back. No, throws it back. I definitely would have cut the eight mon there. Because you can just accept the six and go for it. Maybe you sneak in a San should go here. With a five six seven, instead just throws the Dora back across the way though, looking for that one two three Sanshagu is the plan here, but doesn't have a pair anywhere. Yeah, this is is playing to find your pair in either the one four. Oh, or... and of course, having got the five, Me immediately draws the two now. Oh, and there's our big hand on the left, Richie Pinfu. Ipeko, Dora 2, two Aura chances. It did manage to pull in the 3 Mon, the, the really tricky top of that hand. Well, 6 pin comes out, just throws the safe tile. Immediately gets Cheed. Ishantan on the right. Tempai, that's Cheed Toy Tempai. Well, Dama here waiting on 5 pin. Probably looking for any sort of upgrade. 5 pin would now be double Roan. Yeah, as Scott found Tempai on 2-5 on pin as well. So if Danny does find a an improvement like this hot suit, Or if he switches, may reach, may reach you this and throw the 5. Is Hellweight. Nope, so. throws the hot suit. Would be Hellweight. Never wanted that. Ooh, there's another Dora. That's a bit of a tragedy there for Jeez. Scott. Uh-oh. Which way you do you want? You have to get one of the 4s. Oh, picks the wrong one. Picks the wrong one. One aura. That's going to kick this up to a Hanemon. Big win there for Noel. Always feels nice to start the game with 12, 12k in the pocket. All right. Scott Steeler here has Hi. one door. Can accept another on the right. Maybe you just go Kokushi with that. I mean, I'm not seeing anything else. Maybe Honitsu? Across the way, we see the West has been called, and a Dora now, Ishan 10. Very good hand. And on the left, probably just a Richie Pinfu, maybe Itsu in pin. Would love to accept that 8 Mond uh, lock in the door shape here. Scott pulls in the huge 7 so. Now, 
Uchi Tanya Penfu, totally viable with the door, maybe even door two. As a dealer, this is exactly It'll be Richi Tanyo and Pinfu here. It'll be one or the other. Oh, that's true. Given that we have the eight pin pair. Eight, nine, Tempai across the way in pin for Shaw Dora one. And nice. there's the nine. Well, continues the uh, winning way. And that is, you know, relatively significant for players in C1. Speaking about. Uh, your goals right now, Noel, barely positive, plus 27.1, wants to build a bigger barrier to that zero point gap. Because, of course, if you're in the positives, you have a chance at getting a bonus promo spot. We don't know how many and there will usually be. usually in oh. C1, there are a bunch of extra promos just because all the other leagues need to be filled. But you do have to be a plus zero in order to get those spots. Uh, so if she can get a first place here and climb over Sam and Andrew, that will certainly oh. help her cause. And uh, maybe with an, another good game in, in the final of the series, she could even pass JT or Michael and get even closer. Now, Ax doesn't take the pawn here. Definitely looking for Home. Toy Toy, maybe even Sancho Doko. Ooh. You know, we were talking about this in the in the B1 game earlier. You know, when you make a, a pawn like this, if you have a backup plan that is viable, uh, that makes the pawn uh, more realistic. Uh, however, I wasn't expecting Doko to be the backup plan. Well, I'm not really seeing it. Well, I guess maybe five, six, seven, but that's not even any better than what you have here. I, I want to throw the seven pin. Yeah, or maybe just uh, seven. Oh, no, seven, no, it doesn't one. believe in Doko <laughs> at all. Seven pin might be live in terms of toy toy pairs. But at this point, it's just going to be toy toys. Can you get Honetsu with that? Go. Scott on the left, really hoping to draw the door the itself. The door would be amazing. It. Wouldn't complain about another one, so except for the annoying pop up every single turn. Hey, are you <laughs> sure you don't want to con this? If Give it enough pop ups, eventually you'll accidentally click it. Oh, that's such a sad draw, because the incentive is you just cut the Dora. The hand's terrible, then. It says, no, <laughs> we're getting this hand whether you like it or not. All right, one more pair for Alex. Oh. Ishantan now for Toy Toy. Ishantan on the right for Tanyao. You could, and you something could. that a lot of people forget here is Alec is not just playing for Toy Toy. It could be Toy Toy, Toy Son Anko and turn that into a Mongon. Yeah, that's a good point. There's a 7 pin. It's been dropped before. It's dropped Home. again. That's Tempai. All right, there's your Toy Toy. Oh, Noel holding the Giancon shape. I would just cut the 8 so there and go headless, but we'll see if it works out. Going to be really sad if you draw three so, though. Yeah. Now here, yeah, I could have switched to the temp by now. would be waiting on three so. As is, you probably just throw it back since you've committed to the Dion Yeah, Yeah, I, I don't see much here. We'll cut the two Come here, on. keeping the five Kanchan. Oh, and that's Toy Toy on the left now if you push the four so oh has other we'll plans do it once the chinitsu it's going for it all honitsu toy toy yakuhai i definitely would have pushed the four okay gets to tempai out of this so it's the same han count here tempai on the right waiting on five so there's the dora and so huh. like, couldn't i have gotten this like a while ago mm -hmm. on for dealer whole bunch of food now reveals the hot to be dora so now scott looking at a, hot a monster hand could even go pay donkey oh. that deals on but, the right but tanya will end <laughs> it all oh my goodness that is uh noel's third consecutive win Cannot stop winning. I believe every one of them has been off of Alec here, too. Yeah, who hasn't really had a choice in a couple of these? Like, this one, obviously, you had to jam the 5-so. 
Now, Noah has a nice hand here looking for Itsu, possibly Peiko in pin on the right. That's uh, three for five Sanshugu, probably pin Fu type hand as well. Across the way to Dora. So the question you go, Chinitsu, do you just brute force Tanya out of it? Do you go Chi Toy now with all those pairs? Lots of different ways to play a hand like that. On the left, Haku pair and a whole bunch of Montiles. I might just Chi that with a 2 4 and say, you know what, we're going on Itsu. Thinking about it, Chi. Really thinking about it does make the play. Yeah, I like this. Because you still have the backup plan if you get the six pin, then you just get your home. Oh. Um, no. But if it comes out that quickly, you can be preemptive and cut the 7-5 just right now. Yeah, willing to make that play. He shot the now for dealer, though. Yeah, Noel is shunting, and that's an easy G. Gee. The The awkward, not technically headless, but blockless. <laughs> Especially when you have two honor tiles as your floaters. Right, like if they pair up, I'm in great shape. Yeah, I think uh, there's a lot of hesitation on these potential calls from dealer because Noel recognizes that what you know exactly what Alex Damn is doing. Damn, this should just be a slam though. Ricci plus one is dealer's Ricci. twenty, and that's the play. It is Ricci plus one because there is the eight Sodora. Wait again, two five so. We see three fives and one two, so four left in the wall. I mean, you gotta keep the one, don't you? Yeah, shoves it. Scott holding the Well, that's way. Dora. I might have just held that Dora. Home. I think there are times at which, well, no. doesn't matter. Gonna get the bait out here. Scott deals in. Richie Dora. No aura. So 3,900 still. And Noel has just won every hand. <laughs> just win hands. And has a very good starting end here, too. Probably just Richie Nomi, though. Maybe some 79 Sanjku later. But a very quick hand, it looks like. And you now can accept Dora, because the two Mon is close to the one on Dora. On the right... Oh, no, throws the two. On the right, Pinfu type hand, has one floating door. I'd love to pair it up and just go regular hand across the way. Probably some sort of tiny, maybe even Tanyao Pinfu Peiko. Lots of potential there. On the left, maybe distant one, two, three, Sanshu. There's a floating door. I think you just play efficiently and see what happens. Noel is very highly prioritizing these honors, and I don't really like that. Because mm -hmm. you just lose so much efficiency here. The two mon accepts Dora. The seven pin accepts Ipeko. The two pin's a little more defensible. But even, especially the Haku was cut first turn. If you pair it up, there's no guarantee you're going to get it. Now, of course... Keep the East makes sense. Double tone is valuable. Six pin. Well, it's Chi Toy Ish on 10. Oh. And that's how it's going to be played. Yeah, I haven't seen a Chi Toy Tanya in a while. Definitely those hands that it. Well, there you're going to see one now. Question is will this be a Ricci? Will Dama waiting on three pin? This is Chitoy Tanyao. Scott probably looking for some sort of weight upgrade. Especially if you can get like an 8 Mon. Mm -hmm. th this would be an amazing shape. How about another Ugh. 3 Mon? Ugh. <laughs> it says no. no. <laughs> I might have taken that as a sign and made a Karagirichi there. Incoming Ipatsumo. Well, if you sumo it, it's still 64, so you're fine with that. Okay, how about Sanzo? What about a cultist? Okay, we're going to see if Scott's a cultist. Yeet! <laughs> it's a no! Ginirichi. That is the biggest <laughs> non-cultist move I've ever seen. Oh, and the three pin was the next draw? Incredible. Oh, <laughs> oh non-cultist in absolute ruins. Oh, dear. 
Sumo. No, instead, Tanya will just Sumo. Tanya. A complete and utter tragedy for Scott. But he had the read, though. The three pin was would have been a new Potsu deal in. Yeah, well. He just needed to look <laughs> wow. two tiles deeper in the wall. <laughs> uh, tragedy all over. Well, we have a new dealer turn here. So this is going to be Danny with a Pinfu type hand, can accept a door, maybe a three, four, five Sanchugu. On the right, we have Scott with a Pinfu type hand and two Dora. Your look for is you should turn this into Tanya. And I have pairs, you might just do it. Across the way, we have Alex, who has a Chinitsu potentially in So. And on the left is Noel, who's looking for the one, two, three, Sanchugu. And maybe Hatsu as well. And need, need, needs to get back on the winning ways. Can't believe she let a hand be won by somebody else. I just, of course, Danny is in the dealer seat. Moving away from this pay pair, so looking for perhaps Tanya Pinhu, or just Pinhu in general. Oh, I see Noel giving up on the Sanchugu. I might have just cut three so there. Or three mod, mm -hmm. not three so. Three mod. Cool. Then you can still accept your two, three, four hedge in either suit. And we see a potential toy toy shift by Scott. I think you could also have taken that pawn and cut nine so, nine so, which I prefer here. Yeah, and going back to your three mod cut, with three pairs in hand, you're not losing as much acceptance uh, making that play. You only lose the other three mods instead of the. All, well, all that's possible, Ishan possible 10 options. on the right for Toy Toy Dora 3. Boom. Problem is, there's someone else who needs all those so tiles. Speaking of so tiles, this is one that's not going to be used by Scott. Easy cheat. Oh, do you go 3 4 5 and go for the Shabo in the south round? I would. It is one Scott. That's a play here. There's only one south, but it is safe against Scott, I guess. And plus, if he draws it, you know he's throwing it. Yeah, it is true. And he's been holding for this door draw for so long. What do we know? They, they're actually mostly held by Scott. There is one left in the wall. A shunt and for dealer now. Of course, you can't cheat that five, so wouldn't have a Yaku. Thinks about it for a second is whether you go for Chinitsu, but I think you just stay where you are. And I, if I'm Noel, I probably would have cheated the four and just played for Tempi here. Because mm. this hand just doesn't look like it's going to finish. Yeah, incredibly enough. And you can always fold out later if you don't like what happens. You awesome. might not want to throw this three if you're really worried about the Shinitsu, because you have seen Overflow, and yeah, it's just, I'm out. Any, Literally any Sozu, I'm folding. Hatsu comes, but way too late, and Danny probably can't even drop this. No, there's no reason to. You could go 3 pin. Oh, and Scott's like, oh, that's not what I wanted to have pair of. Yeah, 6 pins just cut twice also. Yeah, says the knight. Either on the, the Tonky or the knight huh. save. Oh, no! Oh, no! Wait, Scott Don't needs to not find Tempa. <laughs> Unless it's with Cons the, the Dora sees all the value here. Oh, can go Tanya from this. You're right. It is furry 10 if you end up on the 3 so 8, though. But this late, who cares? No draws Really left. don't want to draw 6, so... Okay, it doesn't matter. So, I'm going to be one player temp by... And deal shifting.
Scott now in the dealer spot. He has had a lot of huge value hands that haven't come together. We'll see if he can pull something together on his dealership. Nah, it's a pinfu type hand here. Shapes aren't great, but I'm not really sure what you're going to do with this. Maybe two, three, four, or four, five, six on Shaku are probably your best routes. Very distant Itsu and Mon. He's a bad hand. On the right, though, there's a double south and a Dora, so that's a call and go. Across the way, very good pinfu shapes there. Also a Dora. Well, now you have the West pair up. You don't even really like it. Because you're probably going to have to use that as your pair for Richie plus one. But if you get it, I guess you just take it. And on the left, that's now Ishan 10 for Richie, Ipeko potentially, Pinfu potentially. Hmm. Uh, we do see the Dora being thrown there on the right. Looks like the better shapes here. And with a hot suit pair up, you can just call both of them. I think I prefer just cutting the five pin though. Oh, and there's a nice pull on the left. We'll just cut from the pair looking to lock in the pinfu. Yep. Jamin, Jamin, Ishantem. Scott also cutting away from a pair. Dora only visible to Noel currently. And Alex is just wondering where are my Yakuhai? <laughs> That's certainly what I'd be thinking. They're all just bricked in the wall. Uh, I mean, Noel also had the same problem with the Hatsu in the last hand. Interesting draw there for Noel. Might just cut the three three mon here instead. That'd be the most efficient cut. Yeah, that's my choice. Two mon similar. Similar idea. Ooh, now that's a draw. Scott now with a very wide Ishan 10. You don't really want to be in the three pin weight if you draw like 6 0, but lots of ways to improve that. Ooh, that's an interesting shape there for Noel. Most efficient is still just cutting the 9 so and playing it as it was before. Yeah, I wonder if there's any walk up to accepting another door. Uh, well, there's Tempai for dealer. You get extra food cutting the four, so. Yeah, you definitely cut the four here. Also allows you to con the five, so if you're drawing. This feels like four. an I reach you to an oh, wait, that's not the weight I thought I had. That's definitely how that looked, and it probably should have been the four, so here, because you do get the extra foo. Yeah. Tempai across the way, Dama waiting on the west. Michi. Oh. And Tempai on the left, that is now Richie Tanya waiting on 5 8 Mon. 8 is safe against the dealer. Ichi. We're going to see the Ipatsu. Yes, we are. Save the stick at least. We'll deal into Ipatsu. Richie, Ipatsu, Tanya. No aura, but we'll gladly take that direct hit from first. And we're going to have a dogfight for first between mm. our two leaders here and Noel and Danny. But first we have Alex here, who's dealer in all last, and has Adora and pretty good shapes all together. Cuts away from the 1-3, though. I think the better cuts are the honors here. As you just keep this closer, the reach out and be good. But the best hand may be on the right with the double south pair. Can accept Adora there as well. Shapes are very good. And any win is good enough for Noel to win this hand and this game. Across the way, Danny has a pinfu type hand. And really not much else. Maybe convert it to Tanya later. I'm just not seeing much. I guess the plan there would be Richie Sumo Pinfu and hope that's enough. On the left, Scott has a Hatsu pair and a Dora. So probably just call and go. Would not be enough to get to 30,000, but would at least end, move the game on to all last. Yeah. But even, even if the, the win wouldn't put Noel... Uh, lock up the game for sure. Home. Going into the all last dealership with a with a buffer of any amount that more than a thousand is is reasonably significant. Pretty good here. Of course, all you have to be concerned with your all last dealer is that uh, if someone sumo, you're the one who pays the chunk of it. We might Home. see a pawn here. Yeah, it doesn't like the chi toy, which is your other real option. What do you cut here? Five five so or nine mon? I feel the two reasonable cuts. Yeah, and of course, Noel as we've been talking about all night, making this pull with not just Toy Toy, but Yakuhai backup. So if the, if the Yakuhai comes out, 
she can just play this as a as, as a normal hand without forcing toy toy yeah i prefer the five so because the eight eight nine you could just draw you could just pull in the south and end up with a dora right oh that's an interesting draw okay yeah because of the nine pin discard we'll just throw the seven Gee. out yeah it doesn't want the 4 e 10 but we have ishan 10 across the way yeah the plan has always been tanya here for alex Well, it might be Chi Toy now. I mean, the draws keep moving in the direction, but you really don't want to yeah, have to do that. Yeah, it's not enjoyable. You could cut kind of three so and hedge everything. Mm. Oh, well, I don't know. That, it does indeed hedge everything, but I feel bad doing that. Chi. I feel bad about anything with this <laughs> hand shape. Okay, we'll so stop. I feel that's kind of the least worst option. Tempai on the left waiting on one four of Chi. Because a five that there's gonna be the chi just going for the Tanya. Which one of these pairs? Maybe four. No, you can cut five eight. No, oh, cuts the four and deals in. Unfortunately, so we'll be Hatsu Dora one, and Scott gets the two thousand there. Expands the lead in third place, but we have all last now. Noel is dealer. Has a Dora, maybe a seven eight nine Sanshogu. Shapes aren't great, but they're not terrible on the right. Pinfu Taipan, Mingo Cheeto, you're starting to see a bunch of pairs developing. The shapes aren't ideal. I mean, they're there, they're just not great. Across the way, seven pairs up, just like a Pinfu Tanya Taipan, maybe a Peiko and Upper Mon. And on the left, there's just a Pinfu Taipan there as well. Yeah, notably the gap between Noel and Dana is through, uh, 2,500. So Alex actually takes the Ishan Tin here. With a potential East 8 so shampoo. Home. Well, speaking of eights, there goes one of them, uh, the different eight, as Danny goes ahead and pawns, deciding whether to go Toy Toy or Tanya, depending on what happens later. Problem is, either of those hands won't be enough. I guess Toy Toy, if you sumo the winning one, would be good enough. And that's the last E, so it doesn't fit in there. Well, it's just going to be... Oh, well, I guess you can go Sanshoku. Tanya Sanshoku Sumo would be enough. Mm. Three so, live. Five mon, live. So it is definitely viable here. Oh, that's not the one you're looking now for. Now you're Tempai, though. And even a direct hit will not get first place. Let's see, in the standings, I think Danny's in a position to not care and just take the second, but... Yeah, where Danny is, any positive score is plenty. And now we're going to see <laughs> if this actual <laughs> greed, go. full greed, wants the five Monsumo. Now 4 e 10 on it, wants the Sanshoku. I can appreciate this. You wanted Sumo anyway, so this is, this is totally fine. It's going to give Noel a chance to fight back to his hand. Just choosing which uh, perfect Ishanten to accept. Yes, and we'll keep the one so acceptance. Of course, there are two of those out. Maybe for that reason, choosing to select it because... Oh, I guess there are three out, so... Uh, oh, right, three. I missed the third one. Yeah, because that very first discard will always do it. Yeah, if there are two out, then you're probably thinking there's a decent chance that, you know, those players don't have another one. They're in the wall. With three out, I'm feeling a little less optimistic. Well, there's the Eat. five that everyone's looking at. Scott, draw. Scott. Yeah, and that five does not deal in. It's 4 e 10 well, A bit tragic there for Scott. What upgraded the Tanya with a one turn wait? Yeah, it looks like there's a decent chance that Alex will be forced to deal in. If he finds Tempai. Well, the other thing here is Noel is probably going to be no 10 at the end of this hand. So, well, now you may have an excuse to push this, mm. the 9 save. But if Noel's no 10 at the end of the hand, Tempai payments gets Danny to first. That That's a good point as well. Or... The Ricci stick, I think, is good enough as well. Yeah, it's a... 
tie, right? Two two thousand five. No. Oh, because 100. because of the uh, one hundred, right? Yeah, I said I thought it was because of the Oyakabri. The dealer paying the extra two hundred here is enough, and Danny steals it. <laughs> Uh, definitely a nice little mental boost in addition to the raw score. 25.9 there for Danny. Uh, second place, Noel. One really a nice a bunch of hands early, but couldn't get too much later. And takes a positive 15.8. Scott with 11.8 negatives. And Alex takes a fourth there with minus 29.9. Yeah, really, really interesting game there. And, uh... I, I I'm a fan of that that aggression in the end by Danny, and I like to see it get rewarded as well. So, well played. But big big positive finish for Noel. A 15.8 second is really strong. Now we'll climb her up past Sam. But looks like they'll have one more game to play. Uh, we'll see how far Noel can climb up these standings as well as Danny might be able to confirm a guaranteed promotion spot. Of course, a lot of other tables yet to play. It's and how I believe playing tomorrow along with Ty. And uh, Donald. Uh, and in some other games going on, it looks as though A1 has now finished. So we can officially congratulate Dustin as the ARML champion of winter 2024. Now let's go ahead and look at the standings there. Uh, I believe the games that were yet to be played didn't have too much bearing on the overall standings. No, I think it would have taken Max getting like a plus 120 over two games. Well, we now have our final scores here, and Dustin will win the league. Simon and Leon with very respectable results, and the demotions will be Andre, Matthew, Garrett, Kevin, and Claire. Kevin does manage to sneak in, getting out of the last spot with a win in the last game. So, yeah, overall in A one, it was a very strange season. It felt like to to me, maybe every season is strange, but. Um... I feel every season is strange, but it's not the same type of strange because you have the constant rotation of players. So sometimes you just get pawn cat specials and sometimes you get value builders and then a lot more of that maneuver around it. We're seeing, though, overall long term is a lot more of the methodical by the book players, especially those of like Snake Shack are slowly trickling into A1. So you're seeing the level get higher and higher every season. Yeah, it's been exciting to see the growth of not just A1, but the league as a whole. And uh, looking forward to the, the upcoming spring season to see that, that level grow even further. Oh, thanks to the person in chat who mentioned that that was indeed the last C1 game for that series. So that table is done. All right. There may be one game left, I think, going on, which right, is a, a C1 game. With Eric, Nicholas, Drew, and Lewis. It'll take me just a, a moment to pull that up. I know there are so many Eric's in the league. Uh, I think this is. Well, it's labeled here as Eric and DFW. Ah, DFW. Neurotic. So let me correct this. I believe I saw Eric's name uh, show up in the registration list for Richie Nomi. So anyone going out to New York in June will have a chance to meet one of the players at this table. All right. Dealer in front of us is Nicholas. On the right is Drew. Across from us is Lewis. And on the left is Eric. So you come in here. Dear, has a very nice hand. There's a Ricci Pinfu Tanya Dora on the right. Probably some Pinfu, but if you can get that 79 Sanshuku, there's a ton of value to be had. Across the way, we see the Chun Pon looking for the Honitsu, maybe even Honitsu Toy Toy, although I think you have to take the two. No, passes and pairs up the West, which is the Yakuai. So Def rewarded for that. And on the left, we have, I don't know, maybe Chi Toy here, maybe Yipeko. There's a distant path to Rian Peiko, but I don't think it's getting that far. Ooh, seven on there is a very inefficient cut. This should be nine pin because that would give you the three, three, four, five, six. And here you just have the seven pin overlap. Yeah, you can. But a ton of value here. You can imagine that shape without the extra three mon, and then you have a three, four, five, six, seven. It's a three sided weight for 
incredible tile acceptance there. And then you, if you put the three mod back in, you get extra pair draws as well. Ooh. Good goes turn it into a Peko. This should still be the nine pin. Good. And good. this time it goes. Uh, so we've got we've got a battle. Ooh, especially with a south draw. Ishanten across the way with a ton of value potentially. Could be Toy Toy Triple Yaku Hai Honitsu. Yeah, unfortunately, West the West out. is not going to come out. So you can forget about that one anyway. Unless there's a full, that can always happen. That's true. If someone slams a Ricci, West West is. Safe. I mean, dealer's going to be very close. I would not be surprised if there's a dealer Ricci here, and then the West comes out, uh, and we see a pawn for tempt by. Yeah, and with with all that value, definitely you could justify fighting. Or a shove from Drew in the position of Ishan Then says, I'm not going to hold this any longer than I have to. All of these so tough. And Chi, this for Temp. I think you have to take that one. Oh. I feel you have to take that because either side you win on is Mangan. Yeah, that's a good point. You'll get the second Yakuai either way. Honitsu, Yakuai, Yakuai. Mangan's very good. I mean, it's no Hanemon, but... You lose out on the Toy Toy potential, so you're going from Mangan to Hanemon, but I'd much rather have Mangan Tempai on either end than a Hanemon Ishanten. Right. I mean, just situationally... I guess unless you're really dreaming of the double sumo to get Toy Toy Sononko Baimon, that the cheese generally just better there. Hmm. Home. Well, gets the Toy Toy. Okay is rewarded. Here we go. There is one south left in the wall. Oh, it's drawn. Wow. Oh. Okay. Well, <laughs> just ignore me then. I don't know what I'm talking about. Toy Toy, Nan, Jun, Onitsu, Hanemon gets everything out of it. 4,000 more than I'd have made from that hand. And just skyrockets Lisa into a very strong first place going into south three. Drew now in the dealership with the closest chance of catching up. All right. Well, this is Drew with a nice little pinfu type hand, but you may even go Chinitsu. I just think the floaters are good enough and the four or five is a great shape. So I'd lean towards Tanyao, but don't forget you also have the potential Chinitsu. On the right, it's a pinfu, but the shapes are bad. Across the way is maybe an Itsu, but the shapes are okay. You just don't really like the mod one, two, four, six, eight, nine, nine. Mm. We need a three, five, and seven in a suit. It's all like, eh. And on the left, we have the Haku pair. And that three so helps immensely. The hand goes from terrible to just bad. <laughs> All right, we saw Drew pull in another so tile in the form of a seven center. If it was an eight so, probably would have moved a lot harder in the direction of Chinitsu. But with a seven, that kind of gives you Tanya vibes. We'll pass well, Ishan Ten for a dealer here takes the headless shape or takes the Kutsuki floating four seven pin. Yeah, so Almost every pin tile gives a tempi. The only one that doesn't is the one pin. Is the one, yeah. Eight, so you came too late. Let's go. Richie Tondo Dora's dealer is going to be incredibly strong. And then you draw the nine Eight. and you're just sad. Oh, and they have to but fight. But not even going to be the first at tempi. On the left, we have Richie Nomi waiting on three six mon. Would be extra foo on a sumo. What what an abusing shape. If we still had the original two so for, for Drew here. Two 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 three four five 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 seven seven. What an odd weight. Yeet. Well, this is a slam, especially with four being safe entry, so it's Richie plus one possible Todd Yao. Eric in the hot seat plays the Suji to both. And there's another one of those nines. If enough of these sevens clear, then nine might look safer. Yeah. Well, there's the six. Go. Doesn't matter. And that's the expensive end. So big win here. Ichi Tanya Dora. No aura, but still 8,700 because you also get the stick. And now we have Drew with a nice lead as he goes into first place. And a few pairs here. 
I think this is just to play efficiently and see what happens. Oh. You're tempted to try and brute force toy toy from this, but it's going to be really slow, and you really want to use this 3-4. Planning to pull in this and just pray a Yakuhai pairs up and go from there. On the right, looks like maybe a Chanta-type hand. Although I think you just stay close. If you draw one so, I'm just brute forcing Chanta with that, though. I might even brute force it with that 9 so draw. I'm just going to kind of hedge it for now. Across the way, we have the Haku pair and a Floating Dora, so that's probably a call and go. And on the left, we have Great Shapes in Mon. Overall, a pretty good hand, but not quite enough value yet. Yeah, you're seven. The shapes are good, but I'm just not seeing quite enough. It's close. If we had the three Mon pair instead of the six Mon pair, you'd be much happier. Oh, yeah. Yeah, if that's the if that's a one, two, two, three, three, you're just drooling over that hand. And now Drew drawing great tiles, but the ones that don't really He's help. Shunting for nothing. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I'm I'm kind of drooling at the idea of uh, We might have a Gian cheat toy on the left. That is Ishantin. And oh, yeah, yeah, that's a chance for Ian Peko. Nicholas does want, I guess, a pair of five so's because all these two so's are coming out. Yeah, two so, and there's another one just locked in. Yeah, all of around now. And now that shape after five's takes... useless. Now it's Ishantin, and I might even just think about Suwanko now. Oh, absolutely. Like this three four shampoo is not bad. We see oh all the twos come out like that. People are throwing so tiles all over the place. Uh, you can start to dream with a hand like this. You're just kind of wondering what dealer's doing, what the Yakuhai is. And uh, occasionally the answer is they don't have one. Con. Con. Well, there's the con. Con's into a Dora anyway. There is no Yaku here. here. It has to be Toy Toy. Boom. I don't like that con. I think you just stay close and go for more dreams. Although this five is going to deal in. Boom. And there it goes. Con's an extra Dora as well. That turns into a Haku Dora too. And that definitely close the gap to 30,000. Yeah, that's Eric who's on the climb now. In all last, at least with the dealership, a chance to overcome the 3,500 point gap to first. Net Lewis, his dealer here, has a few pairs. So I get your dream here is 3, 4, 5, Sonshku. On the right, we have... Eric with an Itsu in So looks pretty good. Although you may just play it straight forward now mm. with that draw. That's a heck of a draw. Yeah, even what do you like here? This is an interesting cut. I think four so is pretty standard there. It feels kind of sad, though. I think I like two pin a little bit more, but it's close. Across the way, we have Shaw and Chun, which are both Yakuhai and Adora. Hand's already amazing. You can get a bunch of value out of that, potentially. Speaking of Yaku High and Dora, we have that on the Achim. left. May even go Honitsu here. Nope, just going to call for probably Chun Dora 2 being the plan. Mm. Problem is that Chun's not coming out. Yeah, paired up in Nicholas's hand as well. And to, to Eric's four, so I believe he recognized oh. that the improvements of the four, so overlap with the five, so acceptance, the upper shape, so... Definitely the more efficient cut, the way he played it. That'd be Ishan 10 for Honitsu. Oh my. There goes the door. You have to pawn and cut 8 so now, don't you? You could even pawn and Boom. cut Shun, but I like pawn cut 8 so. And if we get a floater we really like, we could even cut Shun later. Yeah, I'm. there's a world where you go back to oh. when he's, uh, That's a little bit tricky with the types of cuts that have been made yeah well i mean you could draw six so and then you just throw a tune and say whatever i get it's five right problem is six is dead so that's not happening tempai across the way for honitsu on the seven pin oh there's the four pin eat that is richi plus one and that's gonna probably be a switch here i'm just gonna throw the slightly safer okay so that is eight chun shampoo of course the tune would be mongon and on the right, that is Ricci Dora 1. And now we see the 8 is now Suji. If it gets drawn, I imagine it comes out.
Eight so Suji, I think, is a reasonable push here. You're kind of wondering why you haven't seen June at this point, though. Right. Because you're a little worried exactly this situation. Uh -oh. oh, there's the eight. Oh. That's going to be the DLN. Yeah, I couldn't do anything about that. Reach and you. Aura would be 30k, so oh. he really wants to... Oh, just get three. Don't forget <laughs> one. Give me all of them. That would be a, a big... That's a pretty big win there for Eric. We'll end up with a positive third off of that. But the winner is going to be Drew with that 29.5 in second place is Lewis with plus 16. Third is Eric with that 3.4. And in fourth is going to be Nicholas with the unfortunate minus 48.9. Anytime someone or a threes you in last hand, it's just not fun. No, really isn't. But, well, Drew, another positive finish here, continuing to climb up in the standings. All right, I think another game's about to start. This will be a B3 match. Oh, I recognize this table as well. It is Kate, Miguel, Andrew, and TC. I, I'm, I remember meeting a couple of these players either at Seattle or uh, what was the other tournament? A Cincinnati event. I think I met Miguel there. As we wait for this game to load, give me an opportunity to swap some things around. Yeah, it should pop in maybe second now. Love uh, Miguel's name here. Wild West. The Wild West, yes. We've seen some people get very clever with some of those names. But all right, dealer here is Kate, has probably a Pinfu type hand, doesn't believe in the 5, 6, 7 Sanju. What do you think of cutting maybe 6 pin or even 9 on first turn here? Yeah, I think I'm okay with that. I mean, maybe 1, 2 pin is too aggressive, but I, I'm not the biggest uh, Penchon fan either, so I think that's also another alternative. Well, apparently neither is Kate. She definitely gets rid of it immediately. Oh. On the right, Pinfu type and does have a floating Shadora, though. Maybe Peiko. I guess there are Chi Toy routes now. You're starting to pair a bunch of stuff across the way. You want to go Toy Toy with a hand like that. You have these great callable shapes and a floating Dora that you don't like to be Tonky on. And then, oh, well, maybe you just go for it towards Suanko now. Hmm. Forget being cute. Give me the value. And then we have TC on the left with a pin foo type pin. Definitely needs the 5 7 pin, though. The shapes aren't great, and I'm not really seeing much value. Of course, the immediately when you decide to cut a pinch on the wall, it's like you wanted a 3 pin. How about 2? Oh, unfortunate temporary disconnect by Andrew. Yeah, this is a little bit of a tricky decision for Kate but I suspect it's also just allowing time for Andrew to reconnect. Appreciate yeah, and the... good sportsmanship. We love to see it. Mm -hmm. Connect reconnects immediately, and it's not like you lost any efficiency doing that anyway. And now you just get <laughs> rewarded. See, that that's just building good garba. <laughs> Ricci, Pinfui, Peiko on one Formon. Of course, the ones are dead and the fours are two out. But we might see the four come out here across the way just because the hand's good enough to justify pushing. Yeah, I mean, if you imagine a, sh a west draw into, you know, starting to call. Oh, yeah, if you get west, you shove this 100% of the time. There's one of those four, so only one left in the wall now. And now there's a good argument to just shove there on the right. We'll kind of hedge it here. Yeah, so we're leaning towards this future Shabo weight, although the 6 so draw might change things. I mean, if you get good away Tempi, you take good away Tempi. The problem is you now have overlap on the 4 so. No. Well, there's the 4, came out on the left, sees a bunch of 3s, and says, oh, it can't be that bad. And not punished with the aura, but still 5,800. Yeah, it turns out dealing with a 4 was cheaper than dealing it with a 1. All right, well, off of that, we'll have another dealer turn. Possible one through the Sanchu here. On the right, Tanya, maybe Peiko and Mon across the way. Pretty standard pin food, nothing special. On the left, 
Pretty standard pin foo, maybe some sort of 79 or 678 Sanshuku in there. Has a floating Chundora, though. You love just pair that up, and I have to think about how to get value. Awkward hand for a dealer to play. Just gonna hold for all the, the current blocks, as bad as they are, and just hope they fill. Nope, it's brute forcing Junchan. Okay. That six pin is a we're going June shot cut. I know because I've made plays like this before. Yeah, and this could be a cheat toy backup as well. It only has three pairs, but when your hand is this bad, like one two three Sanshoku. I mean, this is this looks like it was the way to play it. Yeah, so far so good. Miguel also interestingly choosing the headless here. Very wide though. With five six seven Sanchku chance on drawing a five mon or a six mon. No, oh, well, how about the eight? There's Tempai. That was the wrong one, apparently. Yeet. But I think you just have to slam this one. Yeah, Michi Pinfu Tanya waiting five eight mon. Of course, the eights are three in hand, and the fives are just the two in that hand. Well, it moves a lot of pairs. I'm gonna cut away for that. I mean, this is the other part of Kate's decision to try and play this for Junchun is you're gonna have so many folding tiles, you don't have to worry about it. And now that the nine so is cleared as well, it's two additional tiles of safety. And we'll kind of float in here for a while, see if there's a Chi Toy backdoor, which I really like. Well, found the back door. Oh, you cut one so here, or seven so. And now the two and eight are both Suji, so... Lots of ways to mawashi this back Don't. in. But there's the eight. Deals in, and that's a bit unfortunate. Reach Pinfu, Ganyao. Not punished by the door again. That's going to be 3,900, though, plus the home buff. But we now move out of East 1 as we have a new dealer here. Miguel is dealer with a Pinfu type hand, maybe Tanyao. Especially you get that 7 so you're into that 9 so you're feeling pretty good about Tanyao on the right. Maybe 1, 2, 3, 2, 3, 4, Sanshuku. Across the way, couple pairs and a floating Dora. Again, you just want to pair the Dora up and go. Otherwise, you play readily efficiently. And on the left, eh. Couple pairs. It's your pretty standard boring pinfu hand. They need a couple draws to be reachy pinfu, but there's just no value. Hatsu mostly buried in the wall in terms of Dora. Let's see if TC can uh, pair it up across the way. Curious to see if there's anything that Miguel chooses to open for. Looking at his stats. At this point, the hand's good enough. I wouldn't open this. Yeah, pretty... I mean, if someone reaches, then you obviously try and fight a bit. But I like the the hand shape here. I think this should be nine mon. It technically drops us back a shanten, but the potential future. We don't value... really want it. Yeah. Right. Home. Meanwhile, we see a poem there. Says, "Hey, I want that." Oh my goodness, this is so wide. Actually chooses to go with the, the two instead. Still very wide, incredibly wide. Yeah, I think the five... Well, also a little worried about the potential 4 10 with that 8-so already in the discard. Good point. I mean, that is Tempai, but it's 6-7 Champon with one out of both. I, I like the Dama here. Uh, I think it's either Dama or just 6-mon. Mm -hmm. oh. oh, it comes out. And it's like, sure, whatever. And right. that's when we deal it and go, really? Okay, <laughs> take the 2,000 and go away. All right, well, this has a potential 1, 2, 3, Sanshuku in it. Also potential Itsu in two different suits. Well, the 1, 3, 5, 7, 9 pin and 1, 1, 3, 4, 8, 9 so. On the right, we have a Chun Anko with a callable hand with a Dora potential. 79 Sanshu, or could just say forget it, go Honitsu in. So, across the way, looks like a Pinfu type hand. The problem is you're likely ending up on some ugly shampoo. 
not much value there. Kind of hard to figure out how you're going to get it unless you draw a bunch of so tiles and magically turn this into a 3 4 5 Zanshuku. And on the left, it's just a Tanyao. The question get anything else from it? And the answer is maybe, but not likely. Mm. In the meantime, Andrew just e shot then, so. Yeah, best hand is clear of the one on the right looking for Richi Chundora. Nine Mondora completely live. Yeah, Miguel continues to draw odd pin tiles. There are a few worse feelings in the hand when you take a look at it and you count the tiles. You're you're starting fourteen. How many of these are odd numbers? And you get to thirteen. You go okay, and your last one's like a web. Says, wow, there are worse hands than this, but they're very rare. Okay, an even even number. That's good. And as a result, it fits nicely. Oh, and Eats. there's the door. As expected, Andrew first attempt by Ricci. That was a Chindora. dream. Gets rid of the five just in time. Mm. Don't trust the long Suji. Finds two Mon Genbu first. Also has uh, three Mon Suji now, which is relatively safe. Trust the Sotogawa. I like that. And I was like, wait, oh yeah, that night did pass, didn't it? Kate may be working towards Shinitsu. Well, if he does, he's gonna deal in. Or she's gonna deal in. Don't. Never mind, there's the deal in. Richi Chu Dora one. Mm. And the aura boosted to a Mongon, so a very nice pickup there. Yeah, first one we've seen, all the all the Hits have been ridiculous up to this point, and he is now dealer here. So we see a pinfu type pan, but you have a bunch of honors here. Right? One three five seven mon isn't great though. On the right, that's a Hatsu pair, probably a call and go type situation across the way. Seven eight nine Sanshoku, but may just turn into a more conventional hand. We'll see. And on the left. Do you brute force Honitsu? Not with a door. Not with a 3-4. What do you think is, say, maybe like 2-3-4 Oh, I know yeah. you hate that hand. No, so. it, what a terrible hand. Who would ever go for that? Yeah, so that definitely looks to be the play here. If you cut the West-West, <laughs> you're in an excellent shape here. For Ricci, Pinfu, Tanyao, Sanshuku, Dora. I mean, when you start listing hands and it's a, all the possible Han and it's a mouthful, that's when you know you have a good hand. Now, even preemptively cutting away the West here. Wants a five to be the pair. I think I would have cut the one pin instead because I think the only thing it pulls in is Itsu. And if it's going to be Itsu, your West is going to be your pair anyway. You can't use the five as your pair. Yeah, and if we draw the tiles we want for Itsu, that means we're drawing the tiles we want for the 2-3-4 Sanchuku anyway. Eat. That's cheat toy. Oh, that's a disgusting cheat. No! Reachy the five! <laughs> Reachy two, wait on five. So this is one of those things that people that play a lot of ladder get in deep trouble on. Is like, Eat wait, there's a red five, and then you stop. The wait, we don't have red fives in this league. Yeah, and Big it... chase across the way. Three-sided with potential Sanshoku. And the nine kind of likely to come out. It's one chance. Andrew might be in trouble here. And definitely TC is in trouble. I've cut the six, so it's half Suji to the first Ricci and Naga Suji to the other one. Andrew running out of tiles here. One Mon is Suji. Yeah, That's one Mon's fine. I'd go one one. Doesn't want to give up on this hand, though. That's what that 7 suggests. Oh, it's a tough defensive job against two Ricci's. Two so, two so is one chance. Andrew says, thank you. Three so safe. 
Boom. Well, deals the six, though, and that's going to be the cheap end, so it's not bad unless there's a uh, pays one, so it's not great. It could have been a lot worse. You deal the nine there, then you're suffering. Mm -hmm. Hello. <laughs> oh, well, that's just Chinitsu Dora 3. Oh, maybe not Chinitsu, even. Or Honitsu Hatsu Dora 3. Still, still Hanemon. I mean, unless you get Richie and uh, even more there. Right? Oh. That's good enough. I just cut the south. Yeah, it is Ishantam, so. Certainly. You don't necessarily strictly need the south here. You can continue to draw on the Pinsu. But he has one, one idea, and that idea is Honitsu. It is a very good plan. Well, TC also needs a ton of points, so I certainly understand this. Mm -hmm. Where's TC on the cut line? I believe fairly deep in there. Needs, what, 40 points to get out? So I think you go either way. Now, already in a little bit of a hole here, so definitely uh, fighting Yeet. for max value is reasonable. But not the first attempt by that is across the way. That is Richie Nomi 6-9, Mon. And that will fit nicely. Now, if the Hatsu comes out, you're just waiting on 6-7. But that's just the deal, and Grichi, no Ura, and that just ends the hand cheaply. And wow. DC just has to be a little disappointed there. Great starting hand, it just doesn't come together. All right, well, we're back to Kate now. We have entered South Round. This is one where, do you play for Junchan? And the answer is not yet, and I agree with that. You could play Junchan Chanta, but it just, efficiency is fine until you know it's not efficiency, that you just want to be able to call something. And I think this has a lot more routes to regular hand than brute forcing like Chanta or one, two, three, Sanchoku or even a Yakuhai pair up. On the right, we have kind of a pinfu hand. Shapes aren't great. Might just be Tanya. Across the way, Shaw pair. Not much else. Maybe Richie Shaw Ipeko is about the only value I'm seeing there. There are shifts with maybe two, three, four Sanjuku as well. On the left, one, two, three Sanjuku looks very good there. Potential Itsu as well in Mon. Gotta say, the all That's these hands... That's a great pair up across the way. Yeah, outside of Andrews, these hands are struggling. Yeah, Andrew has an, a really good hand here. I love how it has multiple options, you know, with a Yakuhai draw or uh, just Richie Ipeko, even if yep. it's not Pinfu. And I really also like the idea of drawing a Tumon. Well, yeah, then you get a, then you're basically guaranteed value from it. Kate and Onko drawn, so potential shenanigans happening here. Five mon really doesn't fit. I think you just throw it back. You could consider cutting eventually cutting the west pair and going for like a. A ton of oh. we pay nah, we want to call this down for a thousand and move dealer if if that happens. Yeah. In fact, we're kind of wondering why it hasn't come out at this point. Well, I believe we saw. And then West you see the pawn for dealer, but oh yeah, because there was one West discard at first turn. That's why. Now you see the Cheeto here for Miguel and doesn't really like how it's going, but that's stamp by this is. Just a slam for Richie Nomi, I think. It's Yeet. sad, but I don't see a better option. I think this is why you see like Andrew hesitating. He's like, I don't like this just being Richie Nomi. I don't like that the one so has come out three the times. The weight's awful, yeah. But I think it's still the best play. And now we have a Dora drawn on the Ipatsu, and it's like, yeah, let's not do that. Yep, yeah, rough pull in for TC. There are three tiles remaining in the wall. One, one so, and two, four so. This is a hand where I'd rather have the Tempi payments. Yeah, it's true. Yes, Richie Sumo will get you your Richie stick back, but at the same time. Unless there's a three pin underneath that Hatsu. I, uh, right. 
Well, then, then you're, <laughs> then you're in business. Of course, Ra and the girl thinks a little bit because the nun. That's Tempai on the left for Chun Donkey. Wow, how did he get there? I mean, that's exactly what he needs. He just Gee. shoved a bunch of lower mon tiles and got through. I mean, you can't complain about that hand. No. There's your one, so it's safe against the second Richie. Could go Haku Haku Haku, though. Or even Nine So Nine So. I go Nine So Nine So. Okay, place the Suji. Sumo. Oh, oh, just Sumo. There's a manga on. Uchi Sumo Dora 2. No Uda, but what from nothing to everything. Remember, uh, TC drew that tile uh, on the Ipatsu turn. It could not throw. It had to massively while washing the hand. Ended up Tempai back on the Dora and Sumo's it for the manga on. It was right back in this game. Yeah, 28,000. Gets out of last and is now in striking range of first as Warren South 2. But Miguel says, I'd rather win this game right now Achoo. with a potential Honitsu, Home. South, maybe Dora 2. But the others are like, we just want this game to continue to move. We don't want fourth place to get the dealer run. On the right, pretty standard pin foo, although it may just be a random shampo with the 9 pin 6 so Lots of concurrence on the 6 so Across the way, Haku Pon and perfect Ishan 10. Oh, it's not perfect Ishan 10, but three pairs. Very wide Ishan. You're expecting to pull in the nine for perfect Ishan 10. With two doors as well. Yeah. And on the left, that is Ishan Home. 10 for just Tanya. Oh. Maybe Miguel saw the door. Tonki Tsumo says, I want to get in on that. Pulls the pay here. Gee. Kempai, 5'8, oh, and I imagine it out. comes out. There no. it goes. What do we say? A Tanya will end it all? Is that how that goes? Something like that. Oh! Well, let's go squeeze and look at Toyman. Uh, ooh, shinies. That is oh. a hand. It's a it's Suiso. It's a minimum Naruto. Forget the rest I mean, of the We're hands. just kind of in. Yeah, I mean, Dealer <laughs> isn't bad here. Dealer has a reasonable hand with a Dora and a Yakuhai, but. Not compared to that! Okay, holding out for Honitsu option as well here. I think you have to, especially in Dora Suit. Certainly wider acceptance than playing the uh, Honroto Toy Toy. Oh, there's an honor! Any honor! Yeah, the problem with honor is you need to start bearing them up. Yeah, but a, a single pair makes it viable. Oops. A little bit of a tough choice here because the Dora is the efficient play. Takes G to Aishan 10 while still hedging the Peiko. Yeah, I like this. Pay Tonki? No. Two cons passed. There's another honor. Uh, I mean, now you just <laughs> go, I guess. <laughs> Uh, you'd, you'd almost prefer to not have all these Onkos and have pairs instead, but... Yeah, you would much rather have pairs here, because this means you have to draw some of these. And see, now you've got the four or the six of these, so the one so is pretty Eats. awful here. Oh, Richie. And that's even worse, because you're like, oh god. But with the first turn Dora cut, you imagine the one so is safe. But it is a Richie Nomi one mon nine so shampoo. If three mon comes out, that would have been the alternate weight, but the Shabo is usually better. Well, I guess you go Toy Toy now. Although the four pin has come out already. I think your furry ten on it is yeah. the only problem here. A Suwako Ishan ten for Andrew, what? Oh, there's the four pin again. So close, but no. Five so. There's a five so left. As well as two five pins and two seven. Four just pins. came out. You shove the seven. The problem is the four came out. 
So now the one Suji on the right, we might see a deal in from TC. Mm, you're right. So far, it's been defending well, but... Home! Opponent to Tempai. Yeah, it's Tempai waiting on Hellweight Shaw Tonki. Ooh. This is Tempai for dealer. It's Ipeko only. Yaka no Richie. Oh, there's the West! No. Shaw Tonki! <laughs> <laughs> this is obscene. That's a hand. Toy Toy Haku Honitsu Mongon jumps way out in first now. Kate has not complete control of the game because we do have one player within range here. As Andrew, pretty close. Mm -hmm. But dealer here is going to be TC and has a pretty good starting end here, especially if you pair that Dora up. Otherwise, Richie, Pinfu, maybe Peiko. On the right, Haku pair, pulling and go in first place. Good enough. Across the way, maybe 789 Sanjugu, maybe Itsu. Oh. Plenty of ways that hand can develop. And on the left, maybe Honitsu. The hand's just not great. Trying to force Honitsu out of it. I think you could have just played normal hand and cut west, west first, rather than that three pin. Yeah, with the 6,800 gap, they decided that Mongo well, they, was going to go. With that type of gap, what I'd want to do is just pair up Dora. And then I don't care if I'm losing that much. And I back into like 3, 4, 5 Sanchugu, which is how this hand is kind of feeling it could have been. Then you have other routes. Mm -hmm. well, we might get another go at things. TC is Ishanta. And might, could we see another sumo on the door, door Tonki here? All right, this is the time. Are we going all out? Not quite. Oh, backfire there on the eight draw. Mm. Could have been Dora Tonki Tempai right now. Do you see yeah. that? T. All right. We're gonna see the answer is yes. Oh. Gives That's what you wanted. And now you really wish you had that 3 4 pin. As the hand just a complete disaster at this point. Might. Easy chi, I and mean, you have to go. You can't mess around at this point. Or just draw the other side immediately. Okay, that works. I guess I'm not good enough to do that. <laughs> Could even chi that yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. Has been holding this haku for so long because Kate looks incredibly suspicious. Even yeah, now. Like, you're looking at that from Kate. Like, what on earth? It has to be some stupid Yaku high. Right. And if I see a, a pair of Chun, and the South is already cut super early and in that discard as well. So it's not South. So they're kind of running out of options. Yeah, it's not Hatsu. The only thing is Haku or Mochi Mochi on Chun. Yep. And of course, there's other ideas like Toy Toy or Doko or, you know, random things. Gee. But... Ooh, Chanta Hedge. I like Home. this. Pawn. Yeah, backup plan. We're going to plan B because the Haku is not by across out. the way as well. Is that a three pin bench on? It appears to be, yes. Oh, I'm glad that wasn't a switch there. Home. Oh. It deals in. The Chanta will end it all. That's not how that's <laughs> supposed to work. Kate. But Kate will get the win there. 28.1. Andrew with a pretty good second. 10.3. DC with a minus seven. And at the back there, we just uh, we have uh, Miguel, who takes the minus 31.4. I want to see more. Do you want to stay at this table, or do you want to jump to the Garth table in B2? Um... Maybe if you let's see, is is does that table have uh some some things at stake here? If well, so, we I might have want to take to look. a look. I am also quite enjoying this table. Uh, well, let me take a look. That's B two: Nathan, Garth, Jason, and Ryan. Nathan's fine. 
they're playing two as well, so if they're on game one, we can always catch the second one. All right. This is this is me saying I'm having so much fun watching this table. I want to keep watching it. <laughs> All right. I believe they have just jumped right into game number two, so in a second we'll be able to go there. Yeah, I'm looking at it, and there probably isn't much if their extra promotions on a B2, which is almost guaranteed. So there isn't that much in terms of stakes at that B2 table. All right, show us more Tsuiso. Tyler in the dealer. Well, seat. I mean, that's a pretty good dealer starting hand. Richie Pinfu Tanyo, Ipeko, Ishanten. Yeah, and if you don't get the five pin immediately, draw the other side, three pin, you're working towards Adora. Speaking of Dora, Miguel with two on the right. Also, speaking of threes, that fills on the on the right. Ooh, making the Tanya play. I think I just cut the seven on there. Take the widest Ishan ten with potential for the Peko. Yeah, I think seven mon is is pretty standard uh, because you still have the Tanya ship later if you draw on the five pin. But I don't mind this at all. Tempai for dealer. I think you just slam it. Eat. Yeah, I mean, do the Richie strong. It's a good way. Uh, we see two of each, so four in the wall. You'd be fine, four in the wall. First to Tempai is dealer on turn nine. Now, uh, maybe a small note here of interest. Earlier today, we saw Home. Barry claim the record for most number of points in a single season in Armel with 391. If Kate gets a super strong first here, could overtake that record immediately. And also, Brian in second place has four games to play, so he could also challenge that record. Very excited to see. While this is going happen. on, there is a Dora pawn on the right for Ishan 10. All of a sudden, the table, uh, the Tyler probably, or rather, who is this, TC, a little bit more unsure. It's five. Five deals in a cross, but there's no Yaku, so it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. And the pause there was uh, Miguel thinking about whether to call it or not. By a pawn, yeah. Another chance to do so. There's another five. That's Tempai. And that just fits or, in. Just You're fine with that. We didn't Genbutsu six mon. Yeah, yeah. I forgot that it was just Ishan ten because of the poem. But it's dead. This is the last two sixes are in the dealer's hand. Sumo, they won't come sumo. out. We'll just sumo Richi, sumo Ipeko, and that's plenty of value on its own. Or it would be really nice though. We'll take two thousand also. Nice win there for DC. Dealer Richie, just strong, especially when you when you can sumo. Takame. Yeah, even better, yeah. If it's the expensive end, even better. Dealer here has uh, three pairs, but the shapes are pretty good. Very much, uh, we'll see if they're improving. These are the types of hands I like lots of floaters on, because I'm looking for any excuse to cut one of my pairs. On the right, Pin Fu Tai Pen, maybe three, four, five, so four, five, six, San Shugu. Cross the way. Ugh. You have the Haku pair, but I almost just want to force one into because of how bad the rest of it is. And on the left, maybe Chanta also has a Dora there. I'm looking for an excuse to go Chanta, Sanjoku, Dora, Tonki. <laughs> I would see that. Ah, yeah, there we Eat. go. And Kate's like, I'm a, I'm a genius. And then immediately, <laughs> Dealer oh no. <laughs> and this is a, a Suji trapped one pin. And oh. this is pushable. We might see it in Ponsu. Oh. And there it goes. Disgusting weight. And Oof. picks up 4,800 off of it. This table and their disgusting weights. We saw Hellweight West and now this Suji trapped one pin. I was say, I don't think Kate played that wrong. And the same, I don't think TC played it wrong. Yeah, just 
everything came out in uh, TC, TC's favor for this one. F up to 41,000 after two hands. All right, TC Dealer again here has a pretty nice shape for Itsu. You don't really like the pen shot, but you can connect here the 6 0. You could always cut the pen shot altogether. On the right, we see the East Call and can accept Dora here, but probably is looking for the quick thousand points and move on. Across the way, I mean, it's just you have the tune. You're looking for a Dora and take the potential three sided weight for Ricci, maybe Dora 2. Five pin would be amazing for that hand. And on the left, two pin would help, but there's just no value here. Speaking of two pin, that seemed to be the in-demand tile, except for the players <clears throat> in front of us and drawing second. Yeah, and of course, paired up in TC's hand. Multiple pairs now. Probably going to hold. So looking at the standings, it's important here. TC needs basically a plus 35 to get out of demotion, and Andrew needs to avoid a minus 15. TC well on his way towards the plus 35. And we see Tempo Eats. on the right on 3 6 Mon. Ooh, but we see a Ricci across the way on 5 8. Of course, it is Ricci Nomi on the 8, and Ricci Dora on the 5. Right. Who is going to win this fight? Three tiles in the wall for the 3-6 Mon. And seven tiles in the wall for the 5-8 pin. Six well, there's tiles. one of your... There, yeah, that's what you were looking for. <laughs> Between the 8 and the 5, they're both reasonably safe. I think 8's a little bit better. Sumo. Oh, Takamaya. It doesn't matter, just draw the door up. Yeah, this is huge for Andrew because that... Eats no aura, but yeah, as, as I said, Andrew needs to avoid a bad third or any fourth. So if he just ends right here, he's fine. So, oh, well, what do you think of, say, Hatsu, Chun, or Sanshuku Doko on sixes with Dora 3? I'm a fan. Let's see it. Let's draw some sixes. This hand has the potential to go absolutely oh bonkers. And I feel like Miguel's the type of players to move type player to move in that direction. I know he likes his Yaku. All right, on the right we have a potential two three four Sanchuku and a Dora. I mean, with these you're actually really sad when you've called those and the two Haku are out. Because not only if you don't have a Haku, it's important because that means other people will draw them and be terrified of it. But if you do have the hawk, oh, well, uh, you know how I was saying it might be Doko? Well, it can't actually be Doko, but it can still be nothing but Yaku High and Sixes. We have Tempai across the way for Richie Tanyao. And this is a Tempai. I think yeah. you take Tempai for Mongon. Easy. Yeah, there it goes. Six pin, six so shampoo. Oh. And Don't. rewarded immediately. Well, I mean, it's not as pretty as all sixes, but you're not going <laughs> to complain about that one. No, no. 12K richer. And what? Well, another just easily callable hand. I think you go Honitsu and pin with this. Going to hedge Chanta here. I don't think Chanta really makes that much sense because you're using the door. In it, and I do not like passing that north. What, even, On the right, we have a Pinfu hand, maybe a 608 Sanchuku building, but you can in pin as well. Calls the second one. Okay, that's fine. But cuts the nine pin. I don't like that. I, one nine so useless here. But yeah, if you're just going to cut the nine anyway, why, mm -hmm. why didn't you keep the... Because you can you can draw the six and use it as, a, as the six, six, eight, nine... You can draw the nine and use that as another pair, but you're temp by now on seven pin for Chun Dor one. So got it together. On the left, I mean, it's a pin foo that's not that bad, but it's not as fast as this dealer. Yeah. Now, the to... real question is if South comes to a way Dorotanki. I mean, the six pin worked out so well for Miguel in the last hand that it could be sorely tempted. Well, I've, to go I've for... never been accused of someone who advocates for Dorotanki. Only every chance I possibly get. 
and triple yakuai calls really scary you could even move oh away. but that seven fits in nicely there we have richi pinfu sancho gudora might even dama this but i would reach Yeet. and agrees the thing is the five eight is so bad because they're kind of leftover tiles in the other hands so the seven pin is two left and the five eight is two left yeah two versus two Beachy. kate's gonna fight as well but i think i think this is a deal and on the eight the expensive end even mm -hmm. there oh. it is and cage is getting bodied here Ichi, pinfu sanji dora no aura so it's only manga I would say only manga that's not, never feels good right and that was a very wide weight uh for kate with potential huge value as well with a Takame 7. Well, Monday wanted to go 678 Sanshigu or 789 Sanshigu and immediately draws the Dora pair up and just stares at it for a while. <laughs> and like, what do I do with this? And that's certainly my reaction as well. Just cuts from one of the 689 shapes on the right. Has a south pair, can call that. The rest of the shapes are okay, maybe 678 Sanshigu. Across the way, Ipeko in Mon. Potentially, the rest of shapes are eh. And on the left, a bunch of pairs, including a Dora. And when I see four pairs in a Dora, uh, I don't like it, but the hand is saying, you're going Cheetoy. And now it's five include and a Dora floater, so you're going Cheetoy. And just from a metagame perspective, like at the end of the East round, Tyler's like, I'm at 39,000 points. I've got a good chance of getting a first place here. Maybe if people are, you know, if I drag everyone below 30k, I'll get five unit points. I might have a chance of accomplishing my goal. And now, in third place, with 38,000 points, all of a sudden the, the task has become incredibly more complicated. Nice fill in there for Andrew. And we'll probably cut the four pin here. So to get 35 with other people above, we need to be at 50,000 points. So I'll hunt him on away right now. Instead cuts the penchon and continues with the penchon on that one. So we have two Ishan 10s. Dealer's hand is... A little bit off, although that can just make it go Tanyao. That's actually a really good draw. And on the right, just kind of a headless mess. I really like the two soap hole. I think you have to take that one. Yeah, it was instant too. Andrew was That's the that was what I wanted. Thank you. <laughs> oh, do we go even further? I like the extra draw, I'd take it. That's a pass. And that may just be in part because of where he is in the standings. Again, if the game ends like this, oh. Andrew's fine. Tyler made a big decision here. Cutting the 5 mon, that means the 7 mon. Dora will follow. come out, probably. Nope, he's folding. All right, playing for Cheetoy. Or going for Suanko Tonki. Yeah, one of the two. Cheetoy or Suanko at this point. So Andrew take the wider. Ishan 10, but without a Yaku a lot of the time. But if this 7 comes out, that's the perfect tile. 6-8, mm. Chi, cut your 9, and you have Tanya Door 2. 5-6 is a big mistake if it's called. But yeah, throw, does it correctly. And this 4 on the left is really dangerous, except that it's part of a Chi toy. So it never comes out. And that means there's only one 4 left in the wall, as well as two 7 so's. Richie. Richie on the right. This is Richie, non potentially Dora waiting on four or seven. Fours are dead, sevens are dead. Yeah, Tyler moves to Chito Ishantam. Genbutsu four, so my deal in here. Mm. No. Reads it and says, maybe I don't want to throw that. The three looks much safer against Dealer here. Good call. Tyler. One so is Suji, and yeah, it just folds out. South is live, but gets shoved. 
And that three show grants a safe tile to Miguel. So Toad is twice cut. Three times cut actually was safe. Go to New Kyoko instead, Andrew and Kate, two player Stempai. Dealership will remain here. Well, now the question is you go Honitsu or not, and I just throw the one pin back. There it goes on the right. East pair can just call this down. Just rest to shape here. Okay, not great. So it's, I think you just call and try and get your 2300 out of this across the way. Pin Fu Han, maybe a 4, 5, 6, or 2, 3, 4 Sanshogu potentially. Also distant Itsu. And so on the left, that's just Honitsu. The problem is now we have the Haku Bochi Bochi. So uh, have fun with that. Yeah, it's going to be rough with both players leaning Honitsu. Uh, Not uh, anymore. Right. I think you just have to go regular hand now. I don't like the five pin. I think I just cut the one so, or even the pen, Sean. And now we lost potential three, four, five Sanchuku, and I'm sad. And Sanchuku fans around the world shed a tear. It's okay. We're back to, well, I guess it's two away. No. And Chi Toy Wait, fans. Two also for, yeah, you say it's also Chi Toy. <laughs> Hopes rising. Oh, Ipeko. Can't call that. I mean, you can call for, well, I mean, you just slam this one. Yeet. It's like, what else are you going to do? You just slam it. Ishantan on the right. I fear Miguel, your hand's good enough. You're just shoving. Especially if someone throws that one pin. Oops, Andrew drawing. Uh, might Gee. just say uh, the five's probably too much. We have Tempai on the right waiting on the east, and it might come out, but I think Miguel's trying to hold it back, not really trusting the dealer here. Oh. Oh, well, now it's just Cheetoy, Sean. Seven Suji now clears. Could pawn that, but it doesn't bring you any closer to Tempai. I agree with the pass. Kate's playing a no fear game right now. Chi. Tempai. Everyone's playing no fear. Although four pin was safe from TC. And Miguel's like, come on, I have to pair one of these up eventually. And then she's no, no, you don't, because that's how Chi Toy always works. <laughs> oh, none of these tiles look good. Uh, I mean, the three's safe. If you just want to take your Ishan 10 there, I think that's what I would have done. You do have a, a very wide shape then in the Monzu to redraw back into town. Right. But you only have one draw. Just pushing as is is perfectly fine. Yeah, you'd be able uh, to but you would have been able to cheat and you'd have made it. As is, now you have to decide whether you want to push Suji. But all the door have come out, so it's not as... as yeah, bad I'd here. shove. I think it's a pretty easy shove. Like, I think if you're willing to shove the six Mon, shoving the three is, Mon is fine, too. But we'll fold out and we're going to see the same two-player Tempai. Pot getting bigger here as Andrew's donating sticks and only getting 500 around. But now has a potential 79 Sanshuku hand on the right. Double Yakuai call and go. Across the way, Pinfu hand shapes aren't very good. And on the left, Pinfu hand shapes are amazing. Could be a double reachy, but a miss. Ooh, four pin. Holding for the one one two shape and draws an Anko. Now might go Chant to cut or June Chant cutting four five mod. Yeah, it's a definite possibility. Like it's gonna be a really interesting decision if the three so comes out on the left. 
wanted to call that for just Junchan only. Home. Should be an easy pull, and there it goes. Eight fills nicely for TC. Eat. And there's Tempai on the left. That's an easy slam. That is Richie Pinfu, but with currently 26, now 36 with that stick in the, in the middle, you figure people have an incentive to push. Yeah, we're likely going to see Kate push as well. TC says, I'm out, though. Forget this. That, I don't know. I think with that second two, so I might have gotten Home. a little greedier. But oh. there's a six. There's the deal in. Richie Pinfu and the Aura get 7,500 from the 3,900 hand, so you can't complain about that. Also takes back over first, and now we have Kate as dealer here with uh, not quite a Suizo hand, but definitely a pretty one. Yeah, maybe thoughts of. Oh, just fill your What about Sononko? Hmm. This is the hand I this is the hand where it's like I want to be three four five Sachigu, but I know it's just not gonna happen. Whoa. Well, Yeet. just slam it. Okay, maybe we actually do have Sonko. Three so three mon rather live in the wall. Five so both dead. Andrew has them. And at the same time, everyone's looking at the hand and going, uh, how do I defend against that? <laughs> oh, just the Patsumo Sonanko Hatsu. That's Hanemon minimum. No aura, but that definitely saves Kate. Casual dealer Hanemon. I feel like Kate's been getting a bit unfortunate so far in this game with Tempai's dealing in. The wall says, all right, all right. Well, caused you enough trouble. Here's here's a free 18,000 points. <laughs> we'll throw you a bone. <laughs> and I'll, of course, have another dealer turn here. Potential Itsu in Mon. Great shapes in pin. On the right... It's a pin foo, but a fairly slow one. Maybe like a three, four, five, Sancho eventually across the way. Pin foo, maybe a Peiko in so, and on the left. Pin foo, maybe Peiko in both so or pin. Also, we see a couple floating Haku Dora here, so you always have that situation where everyone's like, who's going to be the first to get rid of it? And usually it's the Ishantan across the way. Ooh, another pair for Andrew. Means he might want to hold on to this door even longer. Oh my, Dion Peko Ishantan. Now just yeah, it is Rion Peko Ishantan. If he draws the six or seven pin, if he draws the six pin, I'm gonna go for a Dion Peko. If he draws the seven pin, I would go for the Chitoy door too. Just because you don't want to have to pass on a nine, right? I don't know, Richie Pinfui Peiko is good enough for me. But Dorotanki. It is Dorotanki, but now another one just came out. So there it goes. Oh, it it right away. And this is what happens. Everyone gets rid of it now. Two people <laughs> immediately. I imagine TC is going to get rid of it fairly soon. Oh, no. And punished. Hey, at least you don't have to go for a cheat toy. You'd have to decide whether you're waiting on six or seven. You probably Dama for a while, and then you have to pick a weight later. Like this tune. Well, the game just wants this to be Rion Peko. So, game, we know you're listening. Give it up. Show us <laughs> the goods. We know there's a seven pin that you're hiding from us. A little less useful, even though you could, you know, potentially work it as a Kutsuki tile because you've cut the seven. So right there it is. There it is. Yeet. Easy slam. We have a potential Rion Peiko, Richi Pinfui Peiko. The question is, is it Richi Pinfui Peiko -i Peiko? <laughs> it's both uh, an even amount of tiles in the wall. Two sixes, two nines. That is a six, but not the one that was being looked for. You gave us the the Three. Epoxy I feel Sonanko. that should have. Hold on. I think this is a mistake by mm. Kate. This should be the six. Oh, well, okay. Managed to get it. I was gonna say the six one makes more sense because you can always cut the two for it too. Mm. And you had your pair. That is the nine pair up though. Could she? Could she for Tempai? We'll do so. Waiting on four eight ten five eight. And 
can switch to literally anything at this point. Right. Is that Tempai on the right? It is. Well, Dama. Four or five. Bars. Where's the six pin? No. We demand. There it is. <laughs> Come on. And this is Tempai. I think you throw the three if you're going to keep Tempai, and right. that's what happens. And that's sadness. There's one left. One draw. She give him a chance Gee, to draw yes. it. <laughs> give him. High. You know Aww. the two save. Oh. <laughs> what a shame. Now just pick your safest tile. All right, three players, Tempai. Well, that got exciting. In the end, all for naught, Ryukyoku it is. Home! Tyler looks at his hand and says, Door 2, let's go. A coupon. Go across the table. Also, the ability to open up with the Hatsu eventually, like right now. Shapes Home. are not good though, but he'll call it anyway. Ruchi is probably the plan for Andrew on the left and for Dealer. Play efficiently in Ruchi. Yeah, you have a Dora, anything's good enough. Oh, what a Especially great Especially if you draw that. Right, now that we're cutting here, it's actually kind of an interesting choice. I like one mon. He's playing for the Ishantan. I've noticed a, a distinct correlation in the choices that you are making, the choices that Kate also makes. Maybe similar play styles. It's it's one of those things where you, it, my style is very much to the I don't care what the hand looks like right now. I care about what it's going to end up as. And if it's going to end up as Tempai payments, then OK, I guess we go for it. Gee. If we have routes of value, we go for them. Right now, keeping the hedge of Tanya open as well. Yeah, and I like this as well. That was the other consideration of the one. And even if you paired up the one, would you care? No. Super YD shunt on the right. Tempai, I imagine you take the shampoo, and that is the plan here. Eat. Ricci well. on the left. Oh, oh that's the Apatsu G toy. Ichi Apatsu Chi Toy, that's 64 minimum, or it would be Hanemon, doesn't get it, but we'll take the 9,000, including the Ichi Stick back. I feel like the number of Ipatsu tiles that Kate has drawn, either Sumo or Dylan, has been statistically unreasonably high. Uh, yeah, that does happen from time to time. TC's dealer here. Had a few pairs. Concept Dora. Four, five, six. Sanshiku now looks like the best play. On the right, kind of a pinfu hand. You want to go Tanya with it, but it's just not there yet. Maybe you cut 998, that whole block. Maybe you can get there. This is the exact same shape. It does the same thing we saw in the last hand. Cuts the one there. Across the way, bunch of pin tiles, but it's just Ishan 10. So I think you take the Ritchie plus one if you get it. Super wide shape in pin, though. And on the left, we have the pay pair. Can just call that down. Hoping to get some sort of toy toy upgrade, but it's a long way off. Dealer in desperate need of a seven, so. Ishanten on the right. It is now Tanya. Did end up cutting that whole 899 block and then drew another nine, of course, because why not? Naturally. Contra Contra a little bit weak, but we'll take what you can get. Well, the idea here is... Oops. Sorry, I think I cut you out a little bit. The idea here is your 6 so draw to get the door acceptance and fixture block. Ooh, 8 Or so. just draw like that. Uh, I think I cut 3 so. Yeah, we can still draw the 6 0 even after the widest e shun 10, of course, I believe is 2 mon. Yeah, headless. Typically, not very wide shape. Uh, uh, I mean, you can just throw it uh, back. Uh, yeah, oh. I like throwing it back. 
I do not like that draw. And now you have the the Shuji Tempai. If they remember. Oh. Yeah, but we'll Dama here. And dealer now Tempai on seven, so. There's only one of those left in the wall. Boom. Okay, makes the toy And there's your win. Boom. Reaping comes out first. Now, I think that would have come out even if you reached, so right. maybe he's left some value out there, but didn't want to throw the stick out. Okay, Miguel has a pretty nice starting end here. Potential 2 3 4 Sanjugu hand, also potential upgrades to a 3 or 5 or 4 or 5 6, depending on what happens in Mon. On the right, I don't know, Pinfu, 3 4 5 Sanjugu, maybe. You have a door, I think you just play efficient and see what happens. Pinfu, maybe you pay pin. 5 6 7 Sanjugu. There, and on the left, Pinfu. Uh, Sanjugu's required shifting there. I think it's just to play efficiently and see what happens. And now just Ishan 10. Fair acquired. And that, that pin block is really nice. You can shift downward with a lot of a lot of good draws. Well, now you're temp I I yeah, I don't mind the Dama here. Just because there are so many upgrades. Basically any mon draw is worth breaking this temp by. I definitely cut the eight pin. Looks like Tyler wants to do the same, but just goes with the six still. And if you're going to do that, I think you just go ahead and take the Ricci. Because your only real upgrades here are the two pin and maybe the Dora. And that's what's going to happen a lot more of the time. You just draw the nine pin and ugh, throw it back. Yeah, like two pin, four pin, five pin. and But if you draw the Dora, you'd rather have the six in your hand have Jam and Tempai. Right, and yeah, you have... And this is the other problem. Richie That's Formon. why if you're going to do it, you, just, you absolutely reach E. Formon. Eat. Okay, six with the... Takes the, the three-sided Fury 10, but I'd rather have the one that lets me potentially draw Dora. Right. It's not just that we see all these twos, although it does... It may look that way. It's that there's just so much more value on the one four seven line. Yeah, I always when I'm thinking about the Fury Tenrichi, I'm looking for a potential Takame. Like, does this does this one give me Ipeko if I draw the other side? Does this give me a Dora? Ipeko or Tanya or yeah. In this case, there really wasn't anything other than uh, the Dora, but Dora's good. <laughs> Dora is good. That that summarized a lot. <laughs> So for all these eights going to the wrong players, those are all gone. The twos are all gone. There's only one five that, pin in the wall. Amazing. Ishanten on the right. Eight's dead. Two's dead. Five's what? One left. Oh, and there's there's the your seven. Dora. No. And there's the last five. Okay, Tyler. Uh, oh, going dead. and now we might see a punish coming. Yeah. Oh, this could be bad. One of each, I believe. And now this time you do not want to draw Dora. No. <laughs> you go, I mean, actually... dealer could get back in for Tempai here. Yeah. Sonic Lishan. Nope. That's not it, though. Okay, looks Tuso like... Tuso is safe. We're escaping. No punish. Two players temp yeah. again. This time it's and eight. Kate's been temp by at a draw, what, three, four times this game? Mm -hmm. Basically every time there has been a draw. Now, of course, Kate playing for, uh, was playing for the top of the standings. And not only that, the setting a record. So certainly explains the, the aggressive nature, but also just generally likes to participate in a lot of hands. The highest participation rate at this table with 63.4. All right, well, this is Andrew, who, as you mentioned earlier, just doesn't really need to worry about it. If this score en ends like this, he's perfectly fine. Even if he drops 10,000, is fine with that as well. But has an amazing starting hand with the East in great shape. He's shun 10 already. Of course, I don't know that you even necessarily take the reach if you drew like five so. I think you cut the nine so and see what happens. On the right, 
Chinitsu, or I guess Honitsu because it's like hot soup there. Across the way. Yeah, there's our Honitsu play on the right. Across the way. Definitely a Pinfu type hand. No real value there unless it turns into 2 3 4 Sanchiku with some shifting, being it's up to a Tanyao. I don't like the four pin cut. He's obviously hedging the Itsu, but it, it, it feels slower here. And on the left, we have a Chun pair, probably just Honetsu. Maybe Honetsu even cheat. I'd bone. Insta bone. Boom. Plus, it's Sanzo. I mean, <laughs> we have to. I, th I think Miguel is from that Boom. Sanzo cult birthplace Boom. region. So. Ishan 10 for Honito on the left, Ishan 10 on the right. And Andrew says, you know what? I don't want to drop Manzu or Sozu. Tempai on oh. the left, Chun, one so. Tempai on the right, eighth Mon. Now, this is always an awkward spot where you're like, I know, uh oh. Well, oh. that ends that. Look at 3,900 for Miguel. I think that was exactly 10 foo. When you're one of those other two players, you have people that are opening, obviously, for a Honitsu's, and you think they have Yakuhai like that, it's just never a comfortable feeling when they're in different suits. If they're in the same suit, you're laughing at both of them. But Kate is dealer here in all last, has two Dora, decent shapes. On the right... Kind of a pinfu hammy, one, two, three, Sanchugu across the way, shop pair, and probably just pawn and go. The question is, is going to play for first or not? And on the left, south pair would pawn and go and end the game, I think. I didn't oh. cheat this. But you can't cheat if dealer pawns and blocks you. Yeah, so two players who want that south, but Kate has a back of potential toy toy. It's a little tricky to find that door. He passes but... the eight pin. Okay, definitely with the advantage here. And even then, it will be tricky to complete the hand. Might be an advantage actually to TC or Miguel. Boom. There's Dora Pawn. Now it's not as tricky. Yeah. Except for the fact that everyone's terrified of you. <laughs> Have the Yaku high? Is it Toy Toy? You can tell Andrew really putting some serious thought to this. It's well, Andrew is fine. Andrew just can't deal in. Right. Uh, if Kate does a sumo fest, you don't really care. But if you deal in, you could end up demoting. Andrew's even so fine. So I think just outright folding is fine. Tempai. Uh, yeah, Andrew's and like the only person that can deal in is Andrew. Mm -hmm. As long as he holds the south, he'll be fine. Even the east, I'd squeeze. East is one cut. I don't like throwing it. I'm just folding. Yeah, it was one cut, but it was also like first turn one cut. It could have been... Oh! Oh! Okay, seven, yeah. Yeah, I like the seven, because you can still sumo the south, at least in theory. Also, there are upgrades to Toy Toy if you exactly. get five in. If you get the six, then it's technically Toy Toy, but the six is dead. Okay. He's going to try and get out of the shape altogether. Yeah, that's fine, too. And ultimately, the original call was made with this as an option. Uh, the, the theory was here in my start, right? Yeah, if I'm Andrew, I'm just hard folding. Forget this. Seven pin, nine pin. Let the others deal with it. See. Okay, now confirming Atos case. So that means uh, the players should know. Well, you can't. Yeah, so the other players don't necessarily know it's Atozuke. But if it's not Atazuke, then is just waiting on a random talkie and you can't really do anything about it anyway. Boom. Tempai on the right for Haku Chanta. On three so, there are two of them left. Of course. <laughs> we see Andrew's hand continue to light up more and more. Oh, there's the three. Boom. There's three so, we'll deal in. Nice win there. Haku Chantadora, so nice pick up there for TC as they get a 
little boost there and into second place. The winner, winner here is Andrew, who will manage to stay in the division after this one. And congratulations there. In second place could be TC. Didn't do enough, unfortunately. Will demote down to C1. In third is Miguel, who gets 4.1. And in last is going to be Kate, who does not set a record, but still very solidly up there. We'll have to wait and see whether Brian or Vinny stay higher. Yeah, both. both. I, I, I'm guessing they're at the same table, given the number of games they have yet to play. It's certainly a possibility. I'm, I think there are multiple tables that haven't played in this division, true. just from how many 20s and 16s I see there. It would be very amusing to me if they were on the same table, though, because I remember uh, in the early portion of the season, it was a Brian Kate Vinny table that, that faced off against each other at the top of the division. All right, so we can either wrap it up here or we can catch the end of the B2 match. I say I don't think it had anything to do with any of the standings, so it's up to you. Yeah, I'll take a quick peek at the B2 standings. Uh, we also have a couple of things to announcements. Note. I guess we can go ahead and go over those announcements now. So the first is NAO is open. The NAO registration announcements is in our announcements channel. So let me read that. North American Open signups begin Monday the 25th at 9 p.m. Eastern. And you can sign up at www.pacificml.com slash event slash 17. And I will post the link in chat for everyone. Yeah, of course, if you go to the Pacific Mahjong League website, you can just Google PML Ricci, find your way there on the events page uh, tab. They'll have a big highlight of the upcoming North American Open. Houston. So it's a three-day tournament over Labor Day. And one of the things that has happened is the winner of that tournament will get an auto qualifier to WRC and the top 64 players, if you're in the U.S., will get WRC points for the potential qualification to the Invitational that will be happening in New York at the end of the year or near the end of the year. Yeah, I'm, I'm personally planning to attend. I'm really excited to the chance to play with anyone else who is heading down to California to attend. Should be a good time. All right. The other announcement we have is A1 and A2 are done, so we can announce hiatuses. Uh, Peter is, is returning to hiatus. Zhu will have to take an, uh, another hiatus. And Zalong, Andre, and Garrick are all going on hiatus. So I believe Andre and Garrick both demoted. So that means that that will not necessarily affect A1. But that means that, let's see. We have one returner and, what, three demotees? So I guess there just aren't that many extra spots. Yeah. If two of our extras went down, there's, what, one extra spot then? Or is it even just zero? Yeah, let's see. Zalong is going to get filled in by the one person who came back. And then the other two went down. So I think it might be a zero. Yeah, it'd be really unfortunate for Vincent there at 86.7. Can you barely sneaky in if that's the case? We'll have to talk to Edwin later to confirm that. But yeah, not much leave, leave, uh, leeway. I'll eventually get word words out but yes yeah, so the a1 demotions andre matthew garrett kevin and claire of course you always know claire's up for more of she's not going to hate us will be a rough a2 uh group next season especially with the people that are coming back in a2 or expected to come back anyway if you saw that hiatus list this season a2 you're like that that division could have been so much more terrifying and it wasn't easy as is But we can't make any announcements about who is actually will be in A2 because we don't know how the hiatuses will work there mm -hmm. due to B1 not having finished. Because if they promote someone that's going to hiatus, then there will be extra spots involved. So nothing there yet, but we can say that A1 is now 
locked up and three people going on hiatus, but two of those already demoting, so it doesn't affect day one. All right, then. Uh, with all of that, oh, and I think I just saw a game results update, so maybe we don't even have a game out there anymore. Yeah. Let's all take... right, then. In that case, let's just go ahead and wrap it up. Yeah, thanks, everyone, for tuning in. Of course, the spring season, I mean, this is our last regular session, uh, regular broadcast for the season. So that means that we're coming up to the spring season very soon. Uh, at the end of this week, we'll have one week off from Mahjong Play, and then the spring season will begin uh, April 1st. So if anyone has registered for that season, is anticipating the start, that is your uh, first day, uh, April 1st. And of course, um, the the pages to start scheduling your games tend to come up right around the Sunday night before. Um, but if you need, you know, if you're going on vacation that, that first week or something and you want to make sure everyone's aware of that ahead of time so you can work around that um go ahead and uh post that in the in the channel and things can be worked around but I'm very excited for that to become very soon if you did not register just yet for that season chances are uh it's too late but uh even though the deadline has passed you can still visit our website americanrichie.org to to maybe try to sneak sneak your way in if if they need one more body to fill out a table there's a very small chance you could work in uh, work your way in and there's always the chance that you can act as a substitute as Miguel did in this game today um, visit our website americanrichie.org for that as well as to track the final set of games that are happening although this is our final regular broadcast um, there are still at games happening uh, throughout the league in various divisions as mentioned b1 yet to complete and there's some very important games happening there uh, b2 as well has uh, some critical games that that have yet to be played so definitely you can watch all of the results as they come in on our website in the various league pages finally uh to be aware of whatever we go live and whenever updates happen as they occur you can always follow us on twitch on our twitter slash x and our YouTube channel, tinyurl.com slash airmailyt, or at American Ricci on YouTube. I think that's that's it in terms of shout-outs. All right, then. Uh, I will be in Philly in a couple days. Looking forward to seeing as many of you there as possible. And, of course, other things that have happened. We have Ricci Nomi has opened its tournament. That's Go, may end up being bigger in terms of players than the North American Open. North American Open clearly more important for qualifying for WRC, which will be in Tokyo. So should see a lot more live play. We're getting towards the part of the year where tournaments start becoming more active as we hit the spring. And we may have another one or two casts here, but the top divisions are done. We'll try and get as many people covered as we can, so don't be surprised if there's some pop-up broadcasts. But thanks for watching. For Nathaniel, this is Korak for the American Regional League, signing off. Good night, everyone.